go button has been pressed. Excellent. The link shall be spammed. Yes, we shall do the link now. Uh, I guess I should log in the Twitch for what it's worth. Wow, Twitch. Death Claws suck. See Death Claws? Yes. I've got I've got three Death Claws raging through my vault right now, and while everybody's armed, it's all with freaking lever action rifles and BB guns, and they're <clears> just <throat> savaging all of my people. Well, they are Death Claws. They are. Like, <laughs> in their name is death. Right. Oh, he's level one. He'll need a stim pack. And he's level one, too. He'll need a stim pack. And another one. Hey, they survived. That's awesome. <coughs> Where's that link, yo? Uh, give me one second. Do, do, do. There's that link, yo. Hey. And then I will post it on the thing momentarily. And I mentioned this on my uh, post, but I'm going to be incredibly disappointed. If um we don't hear Jukebox Hero at least once tonight, I'm sorry to uh, be disappointing you then, because uh, I don't know how the SoundCloud thing works, so I'm not going to try and. Uh... The SoundCloud thing unfortunately works by um, you must actually either have it on SoundCloud yourself or somebody else does in order to find it, like. You have to have a SoundCloud account in order to access it. It it kind of sucks. Well, yeah, that's enough. Um, uh, pop this on the. Hook. Oh, we've already got a viewer. Probably just someone else on this run. Was that the sound of you machine gunning out a statement for spam chat? Hell yeah. Actually, no, that was uh, for the hub. I'm just going to hit control V for spam chat. Uh, excellent. Thank you, sir. <sighs> Did you end up purchasing that Saxoma phone? Um, well, if I can just buy it in the store once. Is that like. Should I do that once the run starts, or should I just kind of? Well, do you have do you have monies to do it? Uh, it depends how much it would cost. Musical people, how much would a uh, an instrument cost? Just like a normal one, not like one. like an actual standard instrument is going to be like five to a thousand million, five hundred to a thousand. Uh, yeah. Let me think. Um, well, a yeah, I, I have that. A, a synth link set or a synth link instrument is twelve hundred. So, yeah, 500 to 1,000 sounds about right. Um, alright, well, should I call it just Alto Sax? I'll go with that. Um, cost, what, uh, I'll say 800. Sure, you get a decently okay one. Yeah. So, um,. Flea has spent four karma to bring his leadership my... from one to two. Oh, Sorry, he's getting my there. First. Um, he he spent his off time um, instructing Jim Gin Rummy on how to swim in Hennessy, and then uh, Gin Rummy unfortunately got in the gin, and he's allergic, so um, it will be a somber evening for him. That almost worries me more than the uh, than the rest of it. So you guys have received your uh, your summons, as it were, to the matchsticks this evening. It is a fairly busy night, given as it is doing a, a somewhat of a small event at a private club. The uh, restrictions on the members only thing is a little bit more lax. As such, there is also a pretty sizable line outside. Um, 
strafe. How are you getting there? What time are you intending to get there? And all of that other good stuff. I got a van. Uh, and I'm showing up on time. And, you yeah, know, we should be it. Okay. That's decidedly boring. All right. Yeah. Uh... Okay. Uh-oh. So, nice um, we're, we're going to start uh, this off, right? Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah. Mr. Mr. Wildfire, what time and how are you getting there? I want to get there about, I'd say like five minutes early, wearing my uh, my suit, put all my pistols and whatnot in, my, uh, in the smuggling container, bring my Alto sitting in the, uh, in the seat next to me. And I'm gonna drive my Ford Americar. So, uh, what I roll? Nah, you're good. You have a car. I'm oh, sure okay. you can figure out how to make it go over them. However, <laughs> when, when you guys pull up, you will notice that there is a fairly sizable line outside. Um, so, I have a VIP pass under the name of. What was it again? I don't know. What was it? I'll have to go look. Let me go search through my Reddit history. I think I'm on the list. I'm Lamont M. Flowers. So you go up to the, the large troll who is very busily kind of doing the things that he does to be a bouncer. Yes, that's what they hire trolls for as it is a progressive racist society. Um, he will give you a quick check on his little thing and a, a like slow and he kind of pulls aside the little velvet rope unclicks it for you to get in. Um, I'll enter. Right. Inside, it looks like a 1930s jazz club. Um, there is an attractive we- female with four arms behind the bar doing stuff. She's mixing many drinks at a great haste. Um, I'm sorry, Strafe, you, I believe, see somebody go right in the, the fancy people line as you had gotten there uh, a couple of minutes early. If memory serves. And now the dangerous question. Uh, Crucible, what time are you guys getting there? Uh, so what time was it beat again? 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock, alright. So Flea has rolled one success on his edge check, which means that probably about 6.30, he is bolting up out of bed, um... Nova Coke spraying everywhere like it's a cloud of powdered sugar. Um, and uh, he is blurrily looking for his comm link, knocking over empty bottles of Hennessy everywhere. Um, he then uh, hears the alarm going off and he picks up a corpse of a duck and puts it to his ear and then pokes it, then opens his eyes and actually looks at it and uh, begins to wail loud enough to wake up uh, Buzzard and Tommy Knocker. He's dead, oh god. What have we done? What? His gin, gin rummy. I bought him from the mana guy and he's dead. Oh, he smells like Bombay. Um, wait, I read that ducks are allergic to alcohol. Um, you, you give him alcohol. No, no, he was swimming. He needed, he, he was... He was in the waiting pool, and I had my swimming ring, and he was just swimming around, and we were having a great time, and then... Wait, where did my pool go? Don't we got a job or something? Um... What what time is it? It's, it's, um... It's, uh... It's, it's a duck o'clock. Um, no, wait. Calm, like, calm, like... Comic. It is. Where's Buzzard? Um. Has anybody checked the kitchen pantry? Uh. Okay. Uh, look. <clears throat> Please tell me he's not parked inside the pantry. I don't know. He might be muted. He might be. Or he might be pining over pining over a guitar in a window that he has seen. <laughs> As Buzzard 
picks himself up out of a large pile of debris and ladies. discarded poppers. Discarded uh, Oh shit, I think you went through the wall or is that the ceiling? Fuck, I can't remember. Doesn't matter. I don't Neither know. Bad. So, what about the duck? It smells we, like you, shit. We have to have a burial at sea for Jin Remy. Um, who did not like Jin. <clears throat> okay. Uh, tell me, can you hand me that bag? Yeah, that, that, that one. Thanks. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Let, let's put him in the bag. Yeah. And Buzzard will take the duck, put it in the bag, seal it up nice and tight. So, where are we supposed to go somewhere today? Yeah, uh, that one. Yeah, we need to go to the marina to bury the duck, but first we have that oh, oh, Drek, we have that gig at Matchsticks and tonight I am and he'll straighten himself up and put his arm out in the uh, very image of a 16th century French naval admiral. I am um, what's it say? Oh, I am Jeffrey K. Carter. <clears throat> Where's my jacket? Uh, and Buzzard will get dressed and select the the other base that he has, and go make sure that uh, the conveyance is in working order. Um, Where did you guys park it last night? I don't know. We we well see the the last time we 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 did a gig we got a free month of uh, high lifestyle in that friggin' key bands like party space and I'm going to assume there is a garage there but as to where the conveyance is let's just say there's it's not a, a garage uh, door anymore. It's a high lifestyle place, so there is. Pr was it like a hotel or was it like a party house? It, it was a party pad above a club. Okay, so yeah, you probably ruined the the front door either by going through it or not waiting for it to go all the way up. Um, that would be the second time that we ruined a door at this club. At least. Yes. So what time are you guys <laughs> going to attempt to get to the, the, the bar on open mic night? I don't know, how lucky are we? Um, I was one success lucky, so I, we might make it on time. I'm sure a, a high lifestyle place is not terribly far away from a, a nice downtown place. So that it is, that it is, it is very close. If you guys looking to get there on time, you go in there soon after you get up, or you? Well, I Flea is going to slap himself awake and splash some water on his face and, and do his hair and take a hit of whatever he's got nearby. Uh, let me see what's on the character sheet. He had, he had some Nova Cook on him, like literally. He, he from did. From the description you gave. And I still don't know what the freaking rules are for drugs, so I haven't been taking it. Um, As Buzzard snorts some psych to wake himself up. Little stimulant there, get you going, even you uh, out. Actually, I'm aware. It's, uh, yeah, flea is flea is just gonna go ahead and wipe the Nova Coke off, and he tastes it like. I swear that was powdered sugar. Oh well, those were really good donuts, and he's going to, <laughs> to take out like <laughs> the fattest doobie you have seen a gnome smoke, which would be like you know regular size, and he's going to. Hot box that whole van with deep weed in here in a minute. Because I got that, and I don't have to roll an addiction test. <laughs> I imagine it like out of the cartoons where they bring those comically large cigars out. Yes. Yeah. And and Buzzard's going to hate me for this, but it's going to force him to actually perceive if he can. <laughs> oh. No, he will. It's Even if he doesn't have the power. Or yeah. Yeah. That's right, because he's awakened. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love this shit. <clears throat> oh. Flea, what did I tell you about hotboxing the van? Um. 
only on Tuesdays, but we're in luck. <laughs> it is Thursday. It's and he's gonna start the car. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. And Buzzard will make some arcane gestures and do his best to not throw the hell up since he's still reeling from last night and all the hurl. It's before, good stuff, right? And the night before oh, that, it's amazing stuff. The night yeah. before that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where is my... Oh, that's right. I have to... Uh, I should have bought that. Oh, well. Oh, here we go. So, tearing ass through town, as much as one can tear ass with only two hits. Um, the club is looking, I'm sorry, the bar is looking pretty busy. Um, are you going to attempt to find an actual parking spot, or are you going to perform the metal maneuver? Um, we are absolutely going to do the metal maneuver. Um, okay. There is no such thing as a, well, every spot is a proper parking spot. Um, Flea will even try and put this thing in a power slide so, like, crucible conveyance on the side is just, like, emblazoned in the first poor fragger who's going to be, like, pasted over by this car. Like, it, it, it will be a banner on this coffin. So we'll probably park it in the actual, like, waiting line to get in. You want to give me one more drive test, just yes. just to see whether or not you actually kill somebody. Yes, I do. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> so with three hits, those of you who are just gotten inside, you hear the screeching of tires and the screams of innocent people. Meanwhile, outside, you have successfully power slid the the conveyance. The people who were in line where you were going to have fled. And you come to like that nice, and you kind of like do that rocking thing. I imagine Buzzard had to apply himself as counterweight to not flip the the poor thing. Oh yes, he does that all the time. He's used to it. Yeah, he, he, uh, his throne in the bag actually rolls from side to side. And I'm I'm assuming that they came in in like perfectly in the parallel parking slot. No, they uh, they are literally parked against the building where people were previously in line. Oh. <laughs> people. Uh, people have fled from the line and now I imagine Flea is still in the car and as the line has returned to like calm so, is now inching the vehicle forward as the line moves forward. Right. <laughs> and and then he's going to be like, wait, what am I doing? And he's going to throw this thing in park and like pop the door and then all this deep weed smoke billows out and immediately like a fog sets on the whole block. Or maybe it's just in Flea's head. Nobody knows. <laughs> A little bit of both. A little bit of both. And out steps this gnome in perfectly foul-smelling uh, 16th century French naval officer uniform. Like, the the buttons, the blue, the long cut, he's even got the hat, and he adjusts it, and he moves his right hand like he's got a cane and snaps it under his left arm, and he realizes he doesn't have one, but then he just does it again anyway. And with the clicking of his shiny leather boots, he is going to push through people, go under people's legs, and if somebody gives him guff, he's just going to slap him in the nuts as he walks by and march right up to the door and, and give his name. If people were watching from another vantage point, they would see that the line shifts and moves, and occasionally a person goes vertical about six to eight inches as they are slapped in the nuts. And Flea comes to the head of the line. <clears throat> Who's next out of the party van? I think it's Tommy Nagger. <laughs> Tommy comes out. The big orc with the shiny silver skin and the flat out metalist of metal costumes on. Ready to go with probably this point would be one case with a guitar and then a an oh shit duffel bag with him, which you know, whatever. It's got fun stuff in it. Probably an amp tucked under her arm too, ready to go. Just yelling after Flea, you're getting your own goddamn drum kit this time. That's going on behind, walking out and behind him. Okay. Was ever supposed to play last I knew, so. Flea's gonna call back, I am doing vocals tonight. And he's gonna take a big puff on his deep weed cigar. Uh huh. 
And after them, out of the smoke steps a nine and a half foot tall troll that is covered in black armored looking robes with arcane symbols all over them. The shoulder bits have crow feathers sticking out horizontally. The hood is up to locks of white hair go down to about mid chest and his horns wrap around the front and come back. There is a base over strapped across his back on top of a carry amp that's like around his waist area. And as he steps through the fog, he gets to just the edge and then <coughs> There is you know, the <laughs> God, I'll let you finish. Flee, next time you hotbox the van, I'm going to tell Suffer Dark Blood Bone Raven that she's sleeping with me tonight. As he turns around and shuts the door and it goes to join them at the front of the line. Oh, Drek, that reminds me. And he'll pull out a little remote and he'll point it at the van and he'll press the button. And from inside the van, you hear a woman yelp. God damn it, Flea! And Flea will yell back, No! You're supposed to say beep beep! <laughs> Fucking security systems, they never work on these things. <laughs> so in the astral, Buzzard can see a look of, well, quite the spike in the the emotions of the area as you guys have very clearly terrorized them a little bit with the almost crash and the, you know, billowing smoke and the lunatics that it looks like to normal people. And then that one guy in the corner is kind of going, Spring Break! <laughs> Uh, but Strafe, if you want to describe, since we've gone through what the other guys look like, what you look like. Uh, below average height. I think I have actual description here written up. Give me a second. Uh-oh. It's not super long, I just don't remember what I was wearing. Below average height, pale skin, uh, square jaw, stubbly, uh, right side of the head shaved, uh, rest of it dyed Seattle Screamers colors, wearing an armor jacket and heavy boots. And you are a... Human. There we go. That's important. And yes. Wildfire, you are a... I... And, I, and I guess the rest of the stuff, too. Um, so, yeah. I am male. I'm pretty tall. 6'2". Um, not the tall for an elf. Um, I'm 22 years old. I weigh around 160 pounds um I have dark brown hair just like um it's um any of you ever seen Psych? it's like Sean Spencer's hair basically okay. um and yeah that's me excellent uh those of you who are normal people and well adjusted members of not exactly society um your air quotes invitations that you had gotten um, once the the patrol bouncer gives you your the, the okay you do get an arrow to a small booth at the back that currently has a man who is talking on a comlink in a way that makes him look important but who really talks on comlinks anymore with the proclivity of DNI of some aspect I'll head over and sit down he uh, he gives you a small wave to acknowledge your existence, but continues jawing away on his phone. Um, Crucible, what are you guys up to? Well, Flea is going to uh, march right up at, at, to the bar, and then he is going to walk up and down the bar until he finds the dwarf-specific seating, or rather at least the three apple crates that he'll be able to climb up to in order to see the bar and see the bartender. Oh. Sad. And and once he sees the bartender, he's going to stop for a moment and, and drink in the sight and then mutter something about like being hugged by like the sexiest octopus ever. <laughs> and then snap his fingers and wave his cred stick and ask for a um, three Hennessy's on the rocks, uh, two mugs of Hurl, and oh, what does everybody else want? More Hurl. Hurl. Um, so make that a quarter barrel of Hurlg, and we will be back in ten minutes for refill. 
So you know those things when bartenders get like those the big beer mugs and they have like three of them in her in their hands. Yes. Well, her lower set of hands have like six, like three and three. Her other two hands are doing octopus things to pour alcohol into them. Um, with the the way that you ordered, she does not bother with multiple glasses for your Hennessy. It all goes into one. Oh, excellent. The the Hulk will get broken down into the other four glasses and the as you're probably used to the the fifth empty one is for you to vomit into uh, she is the most fantastic woman ever she is a vision, she is a beauty, she is highly skilled 10 of 10 would order again I like her we should, we should hire her yes she kind of puts down the uh, the glasses with the you know the two lower hands takes the cred stick slots it into the other upper hand, and then you know hands you your gear back and goes back to her her business. Oh, that's perfect. She doesn't even speak. She doesn't need to. Wait, I need a sippy cup top for my Hennessy and <clears throat> no, just give me a snorkel. I'm diving in. <laughs> As Buzzard will take a hurl in either fist <laughs> and start drinking to, to 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 get rid of the deep weed buzz. <laughs> it's like in order to kill that drug addiction, I will consume other drugs. Yes, uh, I think Tommy's just gonna basically take his hurl pint or whatever, like a shot glass, just bang, put it down, one hit. Do you do you guys then go over to the the meeting place, or do you have other? scary things in mind. Um, no, he'll go over to, we'll go over to, flee! We'll, we'll, um, then, um, descend from the mountaintop, so to speak, and, uh, make his way over, uh, to the private table, um, in some cases going, you know, through people, as he does. Um, and then he will place his sippy cup of Hennessy up on the table, and, uh, wait expectantly for one of the people sitting there to uh, move his ass out of the way so he can climb up. <laughs> so the two of you that are already sitting there, a small gnome approaches you with a sippy cup and probably like a like a two-day hangover rolling into each other. Uh, with body too? Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Need to bring that up. This one does one of you allow him to sit, or do you give him the most strange stare you can? By all means, sit down. Well, thank you. And he is going to uh, mime like he's throwing a grappling hook, and then start pulling on it, and he's miming himself, and finally he just throws up his hands and climbs up onto the seat and just stands there and leans across the table. He surreptitiously takes his sippy cup and kicks back a drink and says, So, hello. The, uh, the important-looking man does that thing where he pulls his sun net glasses down and looks over them with his eyes at the what could only be described as a sight before him. Yes. Yes. It is a sight. <laughs> um, do you guys just stand around or you also take seats? Buzzard will stand knowing that none of this was built for him. Poor racism. Uh, I take it these guys are both readers? Uh, one's an elf and one is a human, if memory serves. Ooh, yeah. so brought cookies. Which one's in charge? Like, from the looks of it. Oh, I'm sorry. The You're talking about the two runners? No, the, the person that the... Whoever, okay. the, the, the fancy person is a human. Fuck that, I'm standing. <laughs> I'm, gonna tower behind, I'm gonna tower behind Flea to add to the the majesty of the moment. Yes, and Flea will chop down in one hand, <laughs> sippy cup in one hand, <laughs> deep weed cigar in the other. Flea's in his element. So the the man will sit there for a minute, realizing that the the two large members of the assembled group are are not actually going to sit, and he'll do the. Uh, All right, I'll call you later. He, as he hangs up his, his phone and sticks it in his pocket. Good evening, gentlemen. 
I am here to gather some assistance from you fine folks to improve the quality of life for one of my clients. See, there was some contract negotiations slow down that kept uh, kept things from moving forward at the pace that they should. However, that has all now been taken care of. It is only a matter of mass production and distribution that needs to be done. Unfortunately, the product that they are trying to ship out is not complete without my client's contribution. And that is what I need you fine folks for. Pausing for questions, because I'm sure there's some kind of thing coming from a certain short man. I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. What? City cup. Cigar. <laughs> He'll just kind of like, I need you folks to get my client's music into the production of the next. Now, that's what I call SimSense Music Edition. Which, if you guys have ever seen the commercials for those, like, now that's what I call music mix CDs that they put out like a million of. And it is a literally a million. I think they do four a year. Something like that. Uh, yeah, this is the, the Shadowrun SimSense version of that. That, uh... Buzzard looks visibly offended at the even mention of those. Flea looks That's... bewildered, like, people actually listen to that track? Does he vocalize that, or does he just have that look? He's got that look, like, it is It is very visibly worn. If if um, he was actually jacked in sober? on Sim to his... Oh god, no, he's never sober. What are you talking about? No, I'm saying if he is sober, you would be able, able to easel, easily tell that he had that look. At you, current, he you, is... Even even drunk and high on deep weed, you can tell he's got that look. If, if he was jacked into his comm link, and it was broadcasting AR, like, the words would just be coming up with, like, sparklers and, like, star wipes and everything. <laughs> Seeing the look of disdain from uh, the more metal members of the assembled people uh, do, do the two normal people have anything to say about this um, I'm kind of sitting at the uh, I'm at the stage but then I, when I hear uh, when I hear this conversation start up I just kind of like raise my hand to wave and I just kind of like jog over with my sax I was like oh hey um, I, I think I might be here to meet with you guys I like this one. <laughs> so, <laughs> and um, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm just setting up a little matrix yeah. status thing. Yeah, no, I, I dig it. That is actually fairly helpful for the intensity of what matrix can actually be. My cat is going berserk in the background. Like, just well, ran all over my get couch. Some catnip, because that's what it wants, right? That's right. Some catnip. That's right. <laughs> of course, you're just trying to get me to give my cat drugs. I, I get it. <laughs> Hot box the cat tunnel. Yeah, that, that's all you need to do. <laughs> just feed it all the catnip. So, with your your look of disdain, he's like, he's gonna lean forward and steeple his fingers as he looks directly at Flea. He's like, is there some sort of disagreement or problem with? this arrangement? Uh, excellent. Why no, not at all, my compatriot and I, compatriots and I were simply discussing some of the early logistics of the uh, plan that you have. This should certainly be no problem at all. Why, we are able to implant music anywhere in time, and if your client so desires to be the next hit single on now, that's what I call uh, synth music, um, I believe we're up to number 147, then we shall certainly make it happen. How about we talk business then? Specifically that of remuneration. Because he got nine successes on his con roll. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure 100% what that was. But he looks slightly confused by the whiplash of your your sudden disdain to knowing exactly how many issues of that mass produced garbage is you know, been done 
Oh, he pulled that number out of his ass. They're probably up to like 651 by now. See, you know, but like with the big Matrix crashes, they've probably reset. Oh, that's true. You know, because before, Plus like it was not, just... It's not now, this is what they call music, it's now what they call SimSense, so they had to reboot it somewhere anyway. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know, you got to keep up with the times and the technology. And who was it that jogged up to us with a saxophone in hand? That was me, Wildfire. The the large troll looks at the saxophone and then at Wildfire, appraisingly. <clears throat> nice appraisal. And, go, and goes back to watching Flea do the work. All right. Well, uh, sir, I'm... Well, thank you for your praise. I am very good at saxophone. Uh-huh. You know, I I just we're, we're doing business right now. So hold on, as he will hold up you know, a huge troll finger. I just kind of like grab his wrist and kind of push it down. I'm like, yeah, actually, um, I think I might be part of your business if you're uh, if you're looking no. for another. Hold on, I, hold I on. Like, Flea is doing I, business. Do I kind of push my head down and like whisper, if you're looking for another runner, that might be me. Flea's gonna take another puff and like count to ten in his head, and then count to ten out loud. Like one, subtle. Two. Oh no, no. So yes, reiteration. Excellent. The product is being slated to go into production three days from now. Uh, with today actually being Tuesday and Tuesday at night, the product is slated for Friday, just to, to clear that up, given as it's not actually Thursday compared to what some characters may believe. See, Buzzard, today is Hotbox Day. You just got to deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> as the voice of God interjects. Um, so, if you guys are able to do the job I know you're very qualified for, uh, we will need insertion of my client's music, and he will pull out a little um, data chip that's got, you know, now that's what I call SimSense 168 or whatever it's supposed to be, whatever number you said. Um, really, all you need to do is get this into the product line manager's computer or into the uh, the warehouse's um, controls, but that is uh, obviously going to be much more difficult. Uh, it would have to be done after the the product manager has hit the, the go on production button. For this, I am looking to pay you fine folks 6,000 new yen apiece. And as I see, we have some musicians among us, and he'll kind of point to those of you that are wielding instruments. I will set you up with a recording situation and get you guys in for the next now that's what I call SimSense 169 um I say um well I mean I could go for that but I'd have to know how um how much money do you think that this music would make then I do a little jazz solo roll performance um alright just a sec Oh shit! Just straight up performance. Yep. You well, performance plus charisma. Oh, okay, cool. Is that performance dice pool or rating? Dice pool. All right. Nice. So that's five d six. Uh, you have zero ranks in performance. Oh. Okay, never mind then. Uh, so three d six. Uh, with zero ranks, you need to uh. When defaulting, you lose one dice from the associated statistic. So if your charisma okay. is three, then it goes down to two. So yeah, three d six greater than five. Um, so uh, there's a couple of toots that comes out of the man with the horn. <laughs> Um, thankfully, you know, there is jazz music going on in the background, so you do not horrifically embarrass yourself in the way that you possibly could have. Uh, the two... Well, let me ask, I, how, how are Tommy and Buzzard doing? 
Oh. <laughs> I think, I think oh. they scored enough successes off their composure. Yes, I, I did. I just met the threshold, so I'm not yep. ripping his... Yeah. I've, yeah. I kind of just... Uh, like, while he's over in the corner tooting, I'm going to ask the Johnson if we know anything about the security system that the uh, now you do whatever music Simpsons thing plays forget to break into. Or like, as he asked that, I just interrupt him with a mad coughing fit. I'm like, oh, I'm just like, oh, guys, sorry. <coughs> Yeah, my read just must be a little um must be a little off tonight. Sorry about that, guys. He looks at you over his glasses with a uh huh. So security shouldn't be that much. It's a it's a small subsidiary. Like Horizon, long ago has pushed this project off to the side and just kind of like let it continue to make them some. Uh, make them some side new yen and make it a good source for finding new talent to be incorporated into their actual projects so the security isn't super crazy you're not going against Horizon proper it's actually you know um, <laughs> stupid chat reading Cursed and I, best DNA. right um, the actual uh branch is just a simple like now is what they call it with the the big funny letters um, it itself is like maybe a C or B subsidiary that's just you know way off on the side and basically ignored for this one person in charge of it that has probably a couple of workers that do some of the uh, organizing editing and that kind of stuff along with a couple of people who Perhaps like Mr. Johnson in front of you, find the scrape the bottom of the barrel for talent to put onto these mass produced things. Um, your other option is to uh, in transit, they will have the uh, the manager there if you can somehow convince him there to do it or um, at the warehouse itself where they will probably have a little bit more security just because of the um, equipment there, the mass production and distribution, there are, there'll be a lot more VP vehicles and people there and maybe some actual security as opposed to just whatever is on local night air patrol in the area. Alright, cool. 6,000 plus time in a recording studio. Interesting, interesting. While I cannot deny the um, talent of my uh, brass slinging friend over here, uh, I'm afraid that uh, Crucible is going to require a bit more remuneration on, uh, on the Nubian side. Um, simply for operating costs, I assure you, I was thinking more in the range of um, 15000 a person. I'm going to go ahead and roll negotiation now, because that's so much fun. Yay, dices. Yay, dices. But during, did your, uh, during your whole thing, I'm like, well, actually, saxophone is a woodwind instrument, not brass. Sorry to, uh, sorry to rain on your parade there, bud. Uh, yeah, um... Right, uh, percussion, whatever. Um, yes, my. <laughs> so that is your that is your negotiation, sir. That is my negotiation, sir. Are you satisfied with that number of successes? You know, no. I've got two edge. I'm just gonna go ahead and waste them because that is what Flea does. Yeah, eight. That'll work. So I will. Uh... So with four net hits, he will uh, do a thing where it looks like he's trying to to converse with somebody in AR. He will then it's like, okay, under the proclivities that several of you may not actually be as musically inclined as I was originally led to believe, we can drop back the recording studio time and we can do 12,000 a person. When he says that, I'm just like, yeah, maybe they're not musically inclined. Um, mm. you know, 12,000 works for me, finger. that's pretty good. I like that number. 
and then he's going to wordlessly gesture towards the saxophone. I'm not in between the saxophone guy and any of the crucible dudes, am I? Because I want to get out of the way of that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'll uh, I tell him that I'll take two thousand less new yen in exchange for some uh, professional sax lessons. So he will uh, turn from the the guy with the sax on the phone towards uh, towards Flea as if a is that a is that an acceptable addendum to the contract we are negotiating? That's just my new yen, by the way. Well, well good, sir, I believe that um, the twelve thousand new yen um, will be acceptable for Crucible and for the gentleman over here, and he will indicate Strafe. As for the private negotiation between you and this gentleman over here, and he will point towards Wildfire, is entirely between the two of you, and that can be a separate negotiation at your leisure. So he's going to swivel his head over to, to Wildfire and kind of look at you. Uh, how you feeling right now, Mr. Wildfire? Um, I'm feeling pretty good, you know, I, I think that, you know, my, uh, my solo isn't that good, but I don't really think that anyone noticed, I haven't really seen anything. Oh, oh, we noticed. But my character doesn't know that. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm just gonna be like, so, yeah, uh, how good are the lessons you could get me? Like, um, let's say on a scale of one to six, if you were to grade how much knowledge I'd gain in this area, how would you put it? So he'll kind of push up his, his dark sunglasses. Um, well, you will come out of this with more knowledge than you have now. <laughs> I'm like, alright, thanks, but um, but seriously, I'm trying to, uh, I, I really need to know, on a scale of one to six, just, you know, that's just a way I grade things. He's just gonna kinda... Right. Okay. That's an odd scale. Um, I will have my people get in touch with your people, and we will set you up some lessons. Meanwhile, and he, he actually says meanwhile as he literally separates himself from that conversation to, <laughs> to talk back to Flea. It's like, okay, I have this chip, and here is a copy of the chip, so that you please do not lose it, and he will push one towards Flea, and then one, while looking at Flea, over towards Strafe. A Flea will snatch them both off the table, without even, like, somehow he does it while having one hand on the cigar and the other hand on his sipping cup, and then both of them are gone. And then they're I'm back like, on the table, it's like, ow, got my hand. He's waving right. his cigar everywhere. And then take one give him chip. a smoke screen. That's right. I grab one and plug it into whichever applicable port I plug it into. I'm just like, and I start listening to it. And I'm like, hey, you know, music isn't that bad. I, I like it. Flea will put his sippy cup down. He'll gingerly pick up the chip. And, like, with a visible wince, he'll except the file transfer so we can listen to it. If you want to roll composure real quick. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, I roll 11 dice for composure. I don't care if I've got three successes, I visibly fail. This stuff is horrible. It's not metal. So, you keep from hitting the eject button and destroying it for the betterment of the metal community. Um you do get to experience a lot of covers of like the, what would be top 40-ish whatever 40 has expanded to in the Shadowrun timeline um, it is offensive to you in a great number of ways um, there is only a handful of tracks and an executable file on here um, where do you actually have computer-ish things? I, I do have computer as a matter of fact and if you want to roll, if you want to roll the uh, software on there, that uh, yes, that seems more appropriate than computer. Um, is there a way I could help him with that if he wants any? 
so with software of three, um, this looks to be just like a insert into thing. We'll then take associated files and do a thing with them. It's clearly waiting to be slotted into a, um, I guess like an offline production computer. I don't know what that would actually be. So it's basically an auto-executable. You plug this in like a USB chip, it auto-executes, it overwrites all the files that are on the thing, and then the production software writes it to chip, and this dude's crappy-ass music is then blasted to the denizens of the Sixth World. Which, since you did slot it into your comm link, it is now has inserted that into whatever playlist of music that is on your comm link. Right. So we will with the three successes on his composure, will calmly eject the chip, place it down, and then he will take the metal link that he inserted it into, and then um, he will hand it over to Buzzard and uh, give him the prayer, the, the prayer hand, and say, pretty please, get rid of it. Um, we'll after it. noticing Flea's reaction, I just kinda like, I just kinda eject the chip to it, and I'm like, oh, yeah, no, um, did I say that was Great, I meant that was horrible. No, no, uh. it's fine. I just want to make absolutely certain that full operational security is considered and maintained. It's also all over your comlink now, by the way. Oh. Yeah, whatever you whatever you slotted that into is now full of this about six tracks of uh, top forty cover by some guy you've probably mm -hmm. never heard of. Just and to uh, just to prove my point, of that isn't actually true. I'm gonna just delete that music. I'm just gonna be like, yeah, I know it's so bad. I'm gonna delete the files, guys, from my com link, not from the chip, because we actually need the chip. All right, and the uh, the Johnson watches you say this and does that thing where he pulls down his glasses and looks at you again. <laughs> Pushes them back up. It's like, well, I believe our work here is done. If you fine folks will will get to it, we will have to. Uh, I'll have my people. Very well, very well. Uh, you said we have three days. If I have a contact number, what will be the terms of payment? Will this be in an escrow account? Will this be direct cred stick? Will this be one cred stick or five cred sticks? Will and. I interject with, uh, when should we plan the uh, sax lessons for? We will cut, discuss the sax lessons when the job is completed. As for uh, payment, he will look over to Flea and ask him, in what form would you prefer? I would prefer a certified cred stick, one of which uh, shall be transferred to me upon completion, and upon completion I will disseminate the funds as needed with the rest of the group's permission. And it's clear that he uh, doesn't If you could just toss mine into escrow, that'd be great. <laughs> You're like, oh god, what did I get myself into? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and deposit my funds into an escrow account under this account number, and then when the job's complete, you can just send the transfer through. So he will look at Strafe and look back to Flea as to whether or not that is... Uh, oh, sorry, I didn't find it this clear. He's not speaking for me. <laughs> I will take the 12k, though. Flea is just going to return with a benign smile, and <laughs> it is very clear that he expects his uh, <clears throat> request to be followed. So he will... Uh, if you want to roll me another negotiation, we'll see how this goes. Oh, totally. Um, would this still be considered contract negotiation, or is this a different negotiation? Uh, this can still be contracts, because you are discussing the end of the, the contract thing. Okay. <laughs> JT Wentworth. <laughs> Are you are you kosher with three? Um, no, I'm gonna blow the rest of my edge for the night and reroll failures. Well, you do have three days. I do have three days. There we go. We're back up to eight. All right. So with four successes, he will be, he will, uh, he will acquiesce to Strafe's request for, 
for escrow, and he will yep. agree to give you the the cred stick with the funds on it upon completion, with the uh, qualifier that it will now be upon you to make sure that he gets the lessons that he so richly deserves. Oh yes, so, I guarantee that we will ensure that he has the proper lessons taught to him. So since um since the uh, since the Johnson didn't pick up on my metagaming stuff, I'm gonna ask this out of character. Um, how much like knowledge, skills, or performance will be improved from these lessons, or is this? It's how much karma you spend upon it, sir. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yep. So the uh, the Johnson will pull out his comlink. Uh, it is a different comlink than he had out previously, and begin talking in hushed tones on it as. Uh, Flea has been in this situation, and it was like, well, this is clearly I, uh, time to get to it. Yes, it is indeed time to get to it, and uh, Flea will take a sippy cup, drain the Hennessy in it, slam it down on the table, and turn around and say, gentlemen, it's open mic night. We must set up. It is our time. And then we shall go do this thing. You both know, of course, the thing of which I speak. And Flea's going to get down off of the table, and he is going to march over to the microphone. And assuming it is at human height, he is going to of kick, course. he's going to kick over the microphone stand so it reverberates when it hits. Goes, Doof! and then all the feedback happens before he picks up the microphone. Yep, everybody in the entire place is now looking at you because what the hell was oh. that? While I... nobody had been singing on it, it was uh, it was indeed hooked up for the next person to come up. Um. Well, he's doing that, I hop on the stage with my sax, and I decide that this time I might turn on my skill soft and see if that does anything. That would yeah. probably help. Um, I'm not even far on what is happening. Jumping on the stage, huh? Yeah. Uh, Tommy, when Tommy's walking up, he's just going to do the, the, the simple little just hand shove off of the the sax player just nah -uh, with the <laughs> nope <laughs> nope just yeah. shove I, I whisper hey man I got a skill soft just remembered it um it should be good just I'll warm up in the back and then I just yell hey you sexy octopus can I have some water the uh the yell has been drowned out by the people kind of murmuring about the hell is going on? <laughs> there was a loud thing of reverb from the microphone being kicked over, and then a lot of people were really confused about things, and then um, you're yelling over, trying to yell over top of the the background music of the place. Um, I want to try that again, but this time I'm going to quiet them down with some amazing Skillsoft saxophone. Uh, he, as he begins to try, Buzzer is going to willingly fail his composure roll. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to bodily lift Wildfire up and dump him off the stage. I yell, Ice hey down. man, I got a skill soft. Calm down, I should be better. Just chill. And, and Flea is going to look at him, and he is going to uh, affect the tone of a, um angry owner scolding his, his puppy and say, No! Alright, I, um, I, can I, um, is there a way that I could use my deck to create really bad noise reverberation throughout their comm links? No. Oh. <laughs> Alright, then I guess I just kind of take it. <laughs> kind of lifted bodily from the stage as Crucible begins setting up. Strafe is wisely distancing himself from the situation that's going on. I'm looking you around to see who wants to take bets on the fight that's about to break out here. I like Strafe. Strafe's great. <laughs> Alright, from below the stage, I, uh, from below the stage, I turn on my skill soft and I do saxophone where they can't reach me. I have the image of that. <laughs> gonna... so, uh, he says to the reach one troll. 
So what uh what do I get to add for my skill soft anything or uh so the skill soft the, depending on what the, the rating of is. your skill jack which is two right all right so four d six uh you have the skill now so it would be five so if okay. you could go ahead and give me a willpower plus logic uh who you you he is okay. uh he is affecting <laughs> magic upon him yes yeah uh, he's putting magic on you. <laughs> I love how I make this like fight just so I don't play music. All right, so willpower plus logic, you said. Yep. All right, so that's twelve d six. Okay, so with seven and successes. Yep. So you are at a negative seven for everything you do. Um, right. can I etch that roll really quick? Oh, yeah. totally. Yeah. All right, so then I do ten d six, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. I'm sorry, I need to be quiet. This is not my run. I apologize. <laughs> so I have so minus negative, two. Then. Negative right. four. Right. Or minus four. Alright, so then I get one D6. Your world dissolves into a swirling mass of metal, if uh, Buzzard wants to describe what his world currently looks like. So your world currently feels like everything is numb, and all of your pores are being driven with spikes as your mind blinks as a skeletal dragon flies through your vision and the world turns into a bloody mess of spike, iron, and onyx. Alright, um, so I just say, hey man, stop that and I won't play, okay? If I stop this, you're going to put that thing away and never take it out again. Hey, l listen man, I do have a skill soft, okay? Just let me try for just no. by myself in the back, and if it sounds good, I, I can I play it? No. Woo! You're All going right. to put that away and never take it out again. Um, just a sec. Is there any way I could convince you otherwise? Until you learn to actually play music, no. Or until you Listen, pay man, us I have 10 million soft, new yen. Work. Trust me, I got a skill I'll take soft. 10 million new yen too. Mm, there you go. Ten million new yen? Ten million new yen. Is there any way I could talk you down? Um, you know what? And we will clap his hands, and he'll hold up his, his hand to the rest of the crowd who was waiting. You can absolutely try. Let's see what you got. And if you could I'll please... Buy you all rounds of, I'll buy you a round of drinks. Anything uh, you like. Roll, roll your negotiation. My negotiation. Is, is right. that okay, GM? I'm sorry, I'm doing it again. Yeah, no, that's fine. Okay. Continue. I, uh... <laughs> 2d6. Okay. I'm enjoying it's, where this is going. I'm Amuse assuming, me. I'm assuming I can't skill soft a negotiation roll. Not in mid negotiation, unless you wish to stop while he's talking to you and do that, you know, <laughs> matrix thing of. <laughs> All right, then I'll just do two d six. Oh shit. Okay. And give me one moment. Rock off. Zero. Zero. You can do Rock it. Rock off. He's got, he's got many. <laughs> I will point out as an out-of-character thing, the last time that a Battle of the Bands was performed <laughs> with Crucible, there was Burned Edge. Yes, right. there was. So, um, Flea will say, hmm, drinks on the round, drinks on the You know what? No, I have a kiddie pool full of rum sitting at my penthouse right now. No, instead, and he's going to take the mic and speak into it. He says, instead, I have a uh, song for you this evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry for the delay. Uh, I am Flea, this is Buzzard, this is Tommy Knocker. We are Crucible, the best metal band in the world that you've never heard of yet. <laughs> and unfortunately, um, our, our night is filled with metal spikes and bone and blood and a ghostly dragon flying through our hearts. And we are going to sing for you tonight a ballad of loss and of mourning for my dearest friend, Jim Drummy, whom I've known for only two weeks. Unfortunately, drowned himself in a bathtub of gin last night, and I'm going to pour him for you, the loneliest day. All right. Will they sing that? <laughs> Will they play that? I'm gonna go out the back door, kind of sit down and sob, and then start writing a blues song about my woes. And uh, Flea's on vocals tonight, so he's only rolling 16 dice for performance. Yep. I keep all ten. Okay. If uh, everybody else would like to join in on this. Not me. 
I'm not saying that. So, fourteen. If there's audience participation, I'll join in. Uh, so I don't feel like people would have lighters in this situation. Although, as a 1930 styled bar, they might actually have lighters as part of their their get up. But uh, as you guys are doing as you do, you will see several women openly bawling. Uh, a couple of men have the, the single man tear rolling down the inside of their face. Uh, a handful of lighters have broken up and being risen into the air, or swaying back and forth with the music. We will um, take no- note of those of those crying ladies, and once once their set is done, um, you will say, thank you, I'm Flea, this is Buzzard, this is Tom Knapp, we are Crucible. Ladies, if you require comfort, I have my comm code here. Gentlemen, you know how to comfort yourselves. Thank you, and good night. Alright, um, so... While that's happening, oh. I'm out the back, softly playing my sax, trying to make a blues song about this. About how the rest of my team just hates me and won't let me play saxophone. Um, tell you what, I will be generous and allow you to roll, I guess, intuition? Just to intuition. see how you... Yeah, well, you don't have a, a music-related yeah. skill or and I a... Don't have don't let me with like them. I wanted to see the rock off. That would have been awesome. Just like to the Twitch chat, don't have skill wires, so that sucks. Yeah. Um, so six, just intuition? Yeah. We'll see how, how good your song goes, or how good your writing begins. So you're, uh, you got some lyrics down that when you're reading back over them make you feel a little worse. This has got to be going the right way, right? Yeah. Um, can I... Can, uh, can I make this an extended test? If you want to sit out in the back alley all night while everybody else goes on and does stuff, you most certainly can. Can I can I have someone like set up a rain machine so it's like, just make it like a movie montage, just for when in, I have a movie made out of this? In, in the back? In the alleyway? I mean, oh, you can, you can, actually? You, can wait you, until you want it to rain down rain. upon you? Yeah, I want, I want some rain, so when they make this okay. do a movie, it's slightly more dramatic. So as you are out in the back alley, you will hear some some sounds, and somebody above you will open a window and throw a <laughs> bucket of water, like a, uh, I think a trash out the window, just like into the alleyway. Uh, there was some liquid in there, which probably lands upon you. And I am shamelessly steering, uh, stealing Cat Nine's lyrics that she just made on the Twitch chat. Thank you. Um. So, yeah, that's right there. Yep. I'll just yep. kind of draw a circle around that. That, that did just happen. <laughs> yep. You are now covered in refuse. Enjoy that. <laughs> All right. So I'm covered in refuse. Um, my suit is completely ruined. I guess I'll just have to go get that uh, dry cleaned. And, yes, it actually would suck to have to come up with that on my own. Um, so, yeah, um... I'll continue trying to write it, so I'll roll again. 5d6, I'm assuming. Yep. Um, while he's doing that, I'm going to break for the retro real quick. I will be right back. Yeah, if you guys want to uh, take a potty slash drink break, uh, we will try to digest what has just transpired. Uh, uh, hi, <laughs> I'd I rather not try to digest that. Um, garbage is pretty disgusting. You asked for this. Okay. Is nobody talking, or can I just not hear it? We are in the process of a potty break. Ah, okay. I must have missed that part. I'm going to continue just adding to the song lyrics um, with, uh, well, potty break happens. If anyone in the Twitch chat is willing to add some more Cat9, um, that would be appreciated.
I mean, it, it's your fault for uh, for adding the song lyrics in there. Now I have to steal them. It's kind of like my moral obligation. Yeah, yeah, true. Okay, I'm back. Hello. Hello. One of these days, I need to write Roll20 to ask them to put a ready check feature in. Oh god, right? You know what, fine, I won't steal your music at 9. If you uh, if they got the ready check feature in, they would be sued by Activision Blizzard. Now I'm going to be using Rhyme Zone to help me with the song. Like all true poets. Uses the internet. Yep. No shame. I'm back. Welcome back, sir. Jinx, you owe me a gin. I'll take it now. I'm saying I've never left, so I'm also. Oh, I thought that you. Uh, I guess that leaves Stray for you here. Answers that question. It does. Oh, I'm here. Sorry. Oh. No, that's cool. He Excellent. He was just muted. All right. So. Uh, so I take it we are all back. Double yes. Check the, yes. The, yes, we are transmitting on the stream. <laughs> The stream people right. are appropriately grateful that I've taken away the uh, blocked scripts bar. <laughs> hey. I remember <laughs> watching a couple of your the games you streamed and being like, ah! <laughs> "Suckers!" All right. Well. So Crucible has has finished their one song. Uh, yes, we have finished our song, and that is why we did not bring his drum set out because he just. It was either going to be that, or he was going to do the William Shatner rendition of Rocket Man, and uh, oh god, <laughs> I, I, I felt better with uh, some system of a down there. It's a little bit more metal. Yes, a little bit less bitch. <laughs> right. Um, I, have a, I have a feeling if we had broken into that, Tommy Knocker and Buzzer would have been like, "The fuck is he doing?" They would have punted. We, we would me have across, cut the cord. Yeah, they would have punted me across across the room as well. <laughs> Yeah, he, yeah he is aware. He is he is modeling, but he is not stupid. So, um, what is the plan now, guys? Uh, the plan is to uh, pack up our gear. We will grab strafe on the way out, and we will go do some late work to check this place out with the things, with the stuff, and the other things. Are you gonna pick me up? Uh, you were ready to get in the back. Probably yeah. not. All right, I'll just I'll I'll just kind of track you guys later. 
We got a public DNI going, don't we? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes, there is a, a, a public DNI me, set up. Then just give me directions to your, uh... To the meat, once you have it. Uh, yes, absolutely. <clears throat> so where are you guys going? Um, so there is the distribution center, correct? So there is the, like, office where the person has their small army of people that... Not small army, that's their small grouping of people that they use to collect the music for um, production, which is then all loaded onto a data chip, and then the production manager from there goes over to one of the mass-producing mm. facilities. It's more of a warehouse. All right. And then that is where it goes from the computer onto product, into packaging, onto trucks, and out into the world. Okay. So, um, first of all, uh, small army. Rob, you son of a bitch. That is racist. Um, I hate you now. Only they're, I don't. They're small in, in size, not in stature. Sir, I swear to God. <laughs> but no. Um, There's no reason to get short. God damn it. <laughs> that was well good. Played, sir. I will grant you that. I will. Um, I'm a star on the pun board. It, yes, he will get a silver star. If he keeps it up, he, he will be upgraded to the gold club. Um, a flea, I think, is going to take um, a Buzzard and Tommy Knocker and uh, Strafe, unless Strafe wants to drive himself uh, in the conveyance and um, leave Oh, the I got my own man. Okay. And uh, go check out the uh, pro music production building and not the distribution center yet. He's just going to kind of do a drive-by, check things out, quick matrix perception, see what's going on, and uh, see what the boys see. So as you uh, come out of the, the matchsticks, you see that there are several people that are kind of grouped around the conveyance. More of a, like, a, the hell is this doing here? And then somebody explaining it for probably the 12th time. The people closer to the door seem to have been stopped in line. Um, some of them you can see are cleaning up tears from your song. The uh, from my song? No. Thanks. <laughs> the uh, the troll kind of like definitely is doing the man tear thing, and he attempts to bro fist uh, Buzzard on his way out. Buzzard Which maybe return the bro fist. Excellent. Uh, and then you guys are into the conveyance and off into the uh, the dark of night. Yes, yes. Uh, are both vans rolling up on this place or just the one? Uh, I can park like a couple blocks away. I got a couple of fly spies I want to get in the air. I got. Good man, good man. Good rigger with the rigging. Yes, yes. Almost as if it was a pirate ship so that he could rig from properly. Mm. If only we had a boat, we could make a music video. Yes. I haven't got the weapon mounts installed quite yet. Make a music video in your party van. Um, who's to say we already have them? Well, uh -huh. music music was made. I don't know if it was. Well, it might have been a video. Uh, <laughs> it was recording. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff happened. There's a recording that counts as a music video, right? Um. So if you wanna you wanna throw dice for those various things that you guys are doing as you check out the place. Yeah. Um, Let's see if I can. I'll start out with a visual perception of the building, kind of see, chain, look at... Um, yep, just, just throw them stuff. and then yeah. uh, give them the old label. And five. Computer is... Like flick through my office maps folder. Good roll, Buzzard. Good roll. It's a nice ascent. <laughs> way to get in there. Yeah. <laughs> way, to, way to get in the game, but <laughs> <laughs> So awesome. you're, uh... Good off the Buzzard. <laughs> oh, God, we can actually get away with saying... Whoa, that's not supposed to be 16, it's supposed to be 12. My bad. So, uh, Buzzard, you get to see the emotions of your associates. How are they feeling? Um... Flea is feeling, um, as I said before, maudlin. Um, it is as if a dragon made of bone and blood is soaring through his soul. 
but um, it is very minuscule compared to the immense deep weed high he's feeling right now. Tommy's about two steps away from cutting the bitch. <laughs> 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 Sorry, really quick, where are you guys right now? Um, They're driving off by the place. Alright. I, uh, uh, I've sort a couple of blocks almost, away. I finished the first verse of my song. I think that's all I need to do for tonight. So I'm gonna, if you guys can uh, DNI me the where the uh, where the meat is. Um, we will do so as soon as we have decided where the meat is going to be. Okay. Yep. At current, they are just scoping the place out. Yeah, we're um, doing those drive-bys without the guns. Which is so not metal, right? <laughs> if we were doing it metal style, there would be swords and shields and axes and horses and a freezing knight. Also, uh, artillery and other things. And yeah. a what? Just say freezing a fr knight. A freezing knight. The the blackest of the moon, moonless uh, skies. Uh, apologies. Uh, Fender I didn't realize he went from under underneath Yggdrasil, the world tree. You know, um, yep. typical heavy metal yeah. Viking shit. I huh. didn't realize we went from things that exist in metals and swords and axes to metaphors. Um, so I got a little confused in there. Metaphors. Metaphors. That is because you are not used to our flow, good sir. I apologize for being flowless. So five hits on a visual perception. Uh, it looks like a um, a small, maybe five story building. It has one of those signs on the outside of it that's like now music recording and then there's like three or four other things on there that I don't exactly have names for okay. um, looks like a couple of places operate out of these small offices um, there is a small guard booth because it is in the Everett's a, a mixed area right they're like C Everett um, I believe so let me double check the map it is like a, a C rating area, so they do have a small fence and a small guard post. There's no, like, nothing more secure in the main way in other than one of those arms that people don't like to hit because it messes up their paint, but clearly would not stop the conveyance. Uh, um, bullets did not stop the conveyance, sir. No. Uh, um, with your... As I have to scroll back up. With your matrix perception, you can see that there is a small um, card reader for, like, you know, swiping your employee thing there to get in. It also will sh tell you that it is currently closed. The hours are 8 to uh, 6. So that is if you wish to do a walk-in. Uh, buzzard, there's nothing exciting about the astral in this area, except for your friend's barely contained rage. Which is kind of metal to have barely contained rage, but hey. Uh, going back to your thing Angle. about Everett. Oh, dude. Metal's about anger. Come on. Yes. Um, <laughs> going back to your thing about Everett, Everett is ranging from AAA security zone all the way down to D. Wow. Uh, yeah. Everett is quite diverse, yeah. Incredibly diverse. I uh, should make a small notation of this somewhere and reference it instead of just kind of making shit up. So it is in one of the, the C areas that is on a close border to one of the B areas. Um, um, okay, so we are down in Keeler's Corner, which goes from D to C to B in short manner. Excellent. So that's um, near the border of Snow Homish and Everett on the south side. Or north side. The, there is like a, a small fence around the area, more so as a property line than as anything else, really. It doesn't even have like crazy mono wire, that kind of stuff. Uh, there are a handful of cameras that are there, because that is that is what you do. You at least look like you are secure, if not secure. Uh, Tommy, what were you checking out? I oh, were doing that on the drive-by. I'm just trying to get a look at the place. Um, you notice that there is a singular vehicle that is kind of sitting in the parking lot? It is a night errand cruiser. It's just kind of chilling there. Um, yeah, fuck the K. Damn the man. Uh, we have a couple of clear softs. Um, uh, the first one was just a mess up. Uh, the second one is the yep. actual roll. 
I've got one of them rolling by uh, just recording everything visually. I've got somebody running, or one of the, them running a uh, directional mic. And I guess I'll have the third one running radio scans. Were you jumped into them, or is that just auto? Uh, it's auto for now. I'm not that worried about it. Okay. I'm just curious where you're getting 12. Uh, it's pilot rating plus clear so- or plus soft rating, right? Um, if the fly spy drones are flying themselves and you're not directly piloting, then it would be their pilot rating plus the clear soft rating, which I believe are... Oh, that, yeah. I believe is uh, three for a fly spy and then six for the Right, then I'll have in there. I can be jumped in, it's fine. Okay. Yeah, I was just just curious to make sure we had that cleared up. So oh, if yeah, you get the nice, uh, the nice aerial view, there is a... On the roof, there is a door that comes up out of the the floor. Um, it has what looks like a uh, an exercise area. There's no like equipment out there, but it is set up in nice little rows and that kind of stuff. Because I know that I've seen videos of Japanese people doing that, and it's weird. Um, there is a fairly sizable parking lot. But it is all nicely ordered and stuff. The KE Cruiser is parked like an asshole across three different spots because that is what you do when you have the the capability of doing so. Um, Flea and Strafe, is there anything else specific you were looking to ask because you both got five hits and I feel like I did not give you five hits worth of information yet. All right. Um, okay, you go ahead. You go ahead. Uh, I don't really have anything. Uh, I got all the information I didn't, I think, unless there's like something I'm obviously missing here with the parking lot. Uh, man, why not? What's up with the uh, the night air cruiser? What do they get, what do they got going on in there? I got a directional so, mic on one of these things. So you're gonna go in and just kind of like check it out yeah, just, closer. <clears throat> yeah, just you know, give them a little flyby. All right, you want to roll me one more as you get in with the. As you come in nice and close. So with five hits, you can kind of see that the guy is well, not necessarily. See, because he has his windows tinted, as that is a thing in Shadowrun. Mm-hmm. Um, that you can't see inside, obviously, because why would you allow somebody to see inside of a Night Errant Cruiser? However, your mic is picking up a little bit of a rhythmic sound from inside. Um, sounds like somebody might be snoring. Oh my god, do you share uh, I'll grab a small recording of that and try to get his uh, numbers off the car, off the cruiser. Um, sure. As Buzzer wants me to do, I'll find the floor plans for the place you're at. Yep, I am now reading through all of the text. Flea can't, um, can't be bothered with that. He's trying to drive. Uh, actually, he's for trying to you, smoke. For those of you who may be wondering, H and K's stands for Hugs and Kisses. I feel like another composure roll is being rolled. <laughs> uh, yes. That's no. basically my goal for this game. <laughs> that is probably not a goal you want to aspire to. Yeah. <laughs> That's the joke. Okay. <laughs> not a very good joke. <laughs> no. Yeah. Um... So for five successes on perception, um, we've got a general idea of security. It seems fairly light. Um, got the hours. So, and you said we saw a card reader on the front door. So it's on the um, the arm thingy. Mm, okay. I no, I, I understand entirely where you're coming from now. So it's quote unquote gated access to get in. Although in the morning there will be a board security guard there asking us in a nasal voice what we're there for. And it's probably the what's going to be there. But, right. Um, so how long would the matrix search for the four plans take? It will definitely I, take you more than two hits. Uh, if you want to roll me another one minus one. Yeah. Um, sorry. Oh, I did. I haven't rolled one yet. Oh no, that was that was totally oh. Flea doing a search for the four plans. Excellent. Well, Flea, you are unable to find it with two hits. Um. Well, if I was going to try any harder, I would have to put the cigar down, and I'm not feeling that. So it's, uh, it's computer for matrix searches, right? That's correct. Yes, it's computer plus intuition. All right. So that would be just like 6 plus 6 equals 12. Um, and I'm driving, so I'd have to go into AR, so it's actually going to be 10. You can do it from AR without the... Uh, Without the minus two? 
Yeah. Okay. Because cool. you just put your uh, your car onto grid guide and have it auto drive. Okay, cool. So then I'll go into hot sim so I get the plus two. Um, that works for searches, right? Yep. Any matrix section. All right, cool. So yeah, fourteen D six greater than five for floor plans. Eight. That's pretty good, right? Yes, that is. Damn. All right, sir. And that is why I'm here. Yep. So you, with your incredible luck, you will spend a couple of minutes digging around for some floor plans. As and I, I have browse and search active, so. It still takes you, I believe, about fifteen minutes. Okay. Uh, yes. Although, if the, if I remember correctly, depending on the threshold of the data we're trying to find, um, that time is reduced for the net hits over the threshold. Like you would, um, whatever net hits are over that threshold, you would divide by. That's the number you divide by for the time. So it starts at fifteen minutes, and then divide by if he's four successes over, divide that by four. That's when he gets it. Doesn't really matter on legwork, but it's good to know. I want you to know that I kind of, kind of spaced out on that a little bit. That's okay. Yeah, I'm trying, so did I. <laughs> I'm responding to uh, Buzzard's thing completely out of character because I don't actually have access to that DNI. Um, let me see about making this floor plan a little bigger. Oh, a floor plan. I'm going. Yeah. I'm going to zoom in and enhance. Here you go, Twitch streamers. Doo -doo -doo. I'm going to make it bigger. I just got to fix my thing so that I can properly click and drag it. Oh, oh my God, it's so big. That's what she said. Aha. Uh -huh. That is what she said last night. So you've got half of it cut off by the bottom of the map. Yeah. Is it still half cut off? Yeah, uh, a little bit more up. Yeah. There we go. You got it's it. Like, you yeah, got there it. we go. Perfect. Although, yeah, try to move that if I get into Matrix combat, please. I think you should be worried, more worried about physical combat. Yeah, but I mean, my matrix status thing is being covered up by that a bit, so. Swing it's, it's fine there for now, just. Yep, no, we're good. So, you guys have a floor plan. It is fairly easy to assume that most of the. Ah, uh... uh, let me do it this. MS Paint time, sirs! Hooray! The best time. Sorry, it's still a little obscured. Is that a rear exit by the conference room, or is it like a bathroom <laughs> or something? Uh, that is a that is a wall, sir. I don't know what you're talking about. There's <laughs> nothing but a wall there. Uh, and most of these windows are actually also going to be part of the wall. The conference room has a beautiful view of the brick wall of the building next to it. Well, that one is actually a window, because <laughs> that is going to be, like, let me finish drawing my other art. Because Sorry. my my artistic capabilities are being infringed upon right now, and I'm not exactly feeling that. Uh, I I am totally and not infringing. If my voice hasn't already tipped you off, I'm a tiny bit sick, so sorry if you hear a lot of sneezing and stuff, but it shouldn't really matter. Uh, we... Skype has a push to talk setting that I've been using. If you're into that, All right? Yeah, <laughs> oh. I'm totally not. <laughs> <laughs> If my voice is getting annoying, I'll set that up. So those are potties. Oops. So this is the musical field building that we're looking at here? Right. This is this is where the magic happens, and then the distribution center is where they're going to mass produce it. All right. Yes. So the the short of it is the actually this the one with the P on it is like the bathroom on the floor. The blue blotch is the elevator to get up and down floors. The other green one is a maintenance closet, and then there is the. Uh, 
four offices of this layout in each of the one in each of the corners, and then there are five floors. All right, um, I'm gonna call you guys, the people in the van, on the comm link, and I'm gonna ask them if there's um, if there's what kind of technology they have in there. What kind of technology? Yeah, like computers, matrix, any of that stuff. Can you see in there at all? Um, Do we know what floor they're on? I can try to get a fly spy up there. Uh, you would know that they're on the third floor because they would have that listed on the. Uh, I don't want to call it a menu, but what is it called? Like when a building has multiple. The directory. There we go. Yep. Hey. <laughs> it's a building menu. The building. Yes, it, it is the di- in fact the directory. So on the directory, you will see that they are on the third floor. The first floor has a uh, and has technology thing. They are perhaps the people that organize the blood drive. That would make sense. Um, also, you suck. Why do I suck? Um, <laughs> and technology what? for organizing the blood drive. What do you think? Would this building be the building? Hey, in man, which they care about their community. Would this building be the building in which they're keeping the um, the recording tapes that haven't been released yet? Because pay data is always fun. Uh, potentially. However, given as this is a mass-produced thing that comes out on a fairly reliable schedule, it is entirely possible that once a uh, a now that's what they call SimSense has been produced, they are on to the next one. So any actual important information may or may not actually be on there. Well, yeah, but I mean... I'm also, sure I about like now people. breaks artists, so they might not have new stuff. They might just have, like, recordings of... Because they, like, just compile things that are already on the top 40s. You know what I mean? Sorry, can you say that one more time? Yeah, uh, the now CDs just compile music that's already on the top 40 charts, so they don't actually have, like, the next up-and-coming thing. All right. They're, like, stuff that was popular three weeks ago. Uh, that's what you think. That might change. <laughs> um so I um I still want to look for pay data up there if I have extra time because well, extra you would, money you would need to get, get into the actual Yes, that's the thing I need to get in there which I could use your help with um or I could try just getting really close to the building I could just like set up a small terminal in the back of your van and um and I could try just sitting right next to the building, try accessing the host. So unfortunately the van is a little full right now. I do have a troll and orc, three sets of well, yeah, not, band equipment not and a um rather fetching groupie who is very angry about that electric dog collar I put on her neck, but it looks so good. So, uh, you might try... You know, if there's a car here in the parking lot, you can totally sit in there and nobody will even know. Um, well, yeah, I'd want some place I could put my stuff. But yeah, I'd want to, um... I definitely want to set up close to the building, is what I'm trying to say. Right, yes, there's totally a car in the parking lot. You can totally sit in there, I am and, certain. Um, could, um... So, you have a groupie who's chained up with an electric collar. She likes it. <clears throat> Don't let her tell you otherwise. Alright. Um, I'm sure she does, yeah. So yes, absolutely. Um, uh, there are uh, there is a vehicle in the parking lot. Um, there is minimal security in front. You wouldn't even have to worry about it. You can just you know duck under that arm, and there won't be any problems at all. We are going to pull away from here and scout out the distribution center. If you want to go ahead and take care of that, that would be awesome. And uh, real we quick before we leave, did you want me to do a flyby of the uh, interior from the outside windows, or are they all locked down and like shaded? Um, if you have any micro drones, that could actually really help me out with the, uh, with the getting inside thing, because I would like a physical jack point. But if you don't, just do a flyby of the windows. I have four fly spies, but, like, you want to buy one off me? 
I was wondering if you could just fly one in there, just check really quick uh, guard patrols and whatnot, but either way, it doesn't really matter. I don't think they're going to be patrolling. Um, yeah, true. true. <laughs> so your, your fly spies, at this juncture, not going to be a lot of help looking through the windows because it is late at night and everything is dark in there? Yeah, they don't have, like, night vision or anything on them. So, while that is a thing that you will be able to do in the morning or something like that, you can, uh, at the at the current juncture, that is not an option, but will be oh. an option in the future. Who here sure. is strong at stealth? Um, stealth. What's that? <laughs> Alright, I'll take that as a no, then. Uh, that's the thing that other sober people do. <laughs> Where's my Alright, then I'll have to work up on my... On that by myself later. Yeah, metal is about honesty and directness. No, All right. No. And, and so considering and that more than half our team is metal AF, I'm going to assume that we're not going to be doing any subtlety, any social infiltration for anything here. You can totally make that assumption, sure. Um, I'm assuming that's a fair assumption, right? I like I you said, are free to make an assumption. You are totally All right. <laughs> um. So. Oof. So. Um. Trying to think. You guys just spit out ideas. I'll think about this for a minute. So, if you can perceive their host, uh, sleaze onto the host, do the host things. Um. If you can find the file. Um chances are that they'll probably check it the day before they make the copy, so we'll not want to uh, make the changes early. But you should be able to see all of the devices in there, see if there's any desktop terminals that are connected to the host. If not, maybe they just bring their comm links and, and decks in or whatnot. And then um, whatever devices you can find, I mean, you'll be able to yeah. access through the host. All right, so um, we probably want to minimize our time in there, just in case there's cameras or anything. Um, so where do you think that we should go? Like, where do you think that we'd have highest probability of finding things? Um, well, um, the host has archives of files, and those archives of files are the files we need to change. But honestly, we do need to actually get directly inside and just pop the chip in, unless, unless, and hear me out, we modify this chip in order to be copied without, like, going directly onto our call links and, 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 and what, what hacky who's that you've got, and we can transfer it onto the host so it propagates in the host, then they'll do the rest of the work for us, and we get paid, and you get your lesson. Cool. I still do want to look for pay data if possible, so I get paid as much as you and get my lesson, you know? Um, right. But if that you can always try the Aztec technology facility at the bottom. They totally True. have blood drive data. Yeah, we could... Yeah, yeah. let's do that afterwards if we have extra time, just kind of yeah. going back down. So that is totally, totally on you, because I am... I, I'm I'm a performer by trade. I do a lot of talking, contract negotiation, things of that sort. I am not that great with the computers, although I do some well, dabbling in the spare I time. I could. Um, I could get your. I could use your help getting in. Definitely. Just like, if we could, we could just buy some uniforms. Just be like, hey, um, we're maintenance or something. We need to take a look at your uh, at your computers. Get in. Just kind of download data discreetly, then just walk out. I see no reason why that wouldn't work. Well, uh, we can certainly give that a try, but right now I don't see a lot of people here, so having uniforms is not that big of a deal. How about we shelve that plan for now? 
You see yeah, if you yeah. can get into the host from the outside, perhaps from the trunk of this car, or the back seat of this lovely car that's sitting here near the parking lot, nobody's in it. Yeah, let's go back seat, not trunk. Okay, okay, yes, yes, totally go in the back seat. And I think we will be able to just get in the host from there and um oh, oh pardon the colloquialism, Bob's your uncle. Alright, so um so yeah, I'd want to get in the backseat of that car, just get into the host. That's yes, absolutely. Yeah, that is the plan. And uh, while while Fair is doing that, um, Flea is going to drive the conveyance towards um, where the manufactoriums are. I'll follow the to the distribution center. Awesome. Okay. So. You guys drive off into the night once more. It's probably only about nine o'clock by now. Not the middle of time. Um, and actually, I brought my own car here, so I could sit in that and use that to check from. Huh? You could. Oh yes, yes, of course, absolutely. All right. So, are we gonna start this now, or are we gonna go? You can um, go right ahead. So we're we're doing this in two in two things. So you guys are going to start driving off to the other place. Yes. Uh, I'll get to you in a minute because obviously matrix stuff happens a lot faster than. Uh, oh, totally. That is not a problem. Then, especially with fleas driving. Yes. So if you wish to, upon rolling up to the uh, the general area of the. Manufacturing. Uh, that is. That is the no, thing. he's rolling up to the thing. I was trying to think if I could come up with a quick and witty name for the multi-story office building. Um, you mean the uh, the Moab? <laughs> or the MFOB? Call it the MFOB. Paul, what do you think about the down. MFOB? Is that great? I think that's great. I like it. Okay. All right. That's, that that way, he, the he, can, he can he can deck in with all the fobbits. I don't know what that means, but... Pulse knows what it means. He's laughing Oh, now. I do. Yes. I feel like this might have something to do with military stuff. No. Totally not. Not at all. Nope. I need to roll Alright, I got no idea. I'm going to roll with it. Um, so if you guys want to... I guess just give me your, your suite of perception checks on the other warehousey building. Oh, totally. Wait for it. Totally waiting. I should have totally taken German and Italian as language skills before we started. I will take care of that after the run. Taken what? Languages. But you said German something. German and Italian. That way he can speak German and he can sing Italian opera. Because why not? Right. It seems a little calmer, I think, over here in the astral. Uh, Tommy, you smell whatever it is you guys had for lunch yesterday. There is somebody with leftovers. Oh, yeah, so we, we totally had awesome taco because the porpoise burritos were on, on uh, special because it was Monday. Um, Supper Dark Mode, but does not like porpoise, so she may have just kind of left that to the sides. She's been kind of anemic, kind of not feeling too great lately. It, it might have something to do with the collar. It might be a little tight. You should also probably, you know, feed her more than her body one to orkness. If memory serves, that is her, her general I, description. Yes, yes, it, it totally is. Um, but un unfortunately, she she only absorbs metal, and um, she sustains herself purely off metal. Yes, and and the um, a horrid uh, cold darkness that uh, exists within the souls of all of us. Excellent. I love every aspect of that. So out here, it is a fairly large warehouse, um, especially for something that is producing chips and chips and chips. Um, you can see that there are what look like three um, cargo truck loading bays. I could not find those words. Like, that was a giant struggle for me. Um, um, loading bay is correct. Excellent. Sorry, um, really 
really quick, I just want to say some one thing. Before we actually start going in, I definitely want to get some sleep and regain my edge. Yeah, well, you have three days, sir. You can, uh... Okay. Yeah, I don't feel like anybody's again. kicking in the doors right now. No. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're on, like, hour just, five of a three-day run. Just, just Yeah, I just want to be sure, because you guys yeah. are... Uh, They're metal, just looking uh, at places. Probably can't see it, but I'm doing the, uh, the whole spring break hand symbols. Uh -huh. I don't know what that is, but I'm pretty sure I'm better off not knowing. We'll go with that. Uh, you know, your pinky and your uh, index finger are up, the rest of your fingers are down, and you just kind of like shake it. Oh, your back like. Forth. That's not spring break, you son of a bitch. That is. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I need to refill my gin. Um, <laughs> converse amongst yourselves. I will, I will catch up in a moment. Excellent. So, your hurled hangover is not doing too well, I don't think. <laughs> uh, let me go back up here to. So, flee with five. Yes. Um, it is a large warehouse. There are three loading bay docks for. They could probably fit up to an 18 wheeler pulling up to the back of these things and loading them in. Mm -hmm. There is a a significantly smaller parking lot than over at the other place, probably because this is only for the poorest, well, not the poorest, but the the most overworked of wage slaves with the most shittiest of job and their one taskmaster. Who oversees them as as they would an overlord? Um, so you say we're in the D area? Uh sure. This can be in the in the more industrial D area. There is a uh, a little bit more security on the outside of it, probably due to the fact that it has significantly more valuable things, if for no other reason than just the raw equipment inside of it. There will be things like forklifts and cranes and heavy moving of things around. Um, so I click on a random link that I got sent. No. Oh. Hilarious. Uh, there was a... There is no KE Cruiser hanging around here, thankfully. The entranceway to this is significantly more uh, robust than at the other place. It has a guard shack. It has a um, one of those like tire spike strip things that pops up mm -hmm, mm -hmm. if you uh, if you decide to do silly things. It also has a more of a rolling gate than just the the floppy wooden bar. Gotcha. Um, there is actually a guy who looks probably really bored. The faint glow of his comm link is illuminating his face. Uh, he's probably watching cat videos on. Us tube. Okay. Uh, then from up above, there is no roof access on this building, thanks to your fly spy stuff. Um, there is a bunch of like air vents and things from uh, heating and air conditioning, that kind of thing, and normal rooftop stuff. Um, anything else you guys want to ask about it from that aspect? Well, uh, I could find floor plans, as always. Um, well, floor plan for a warehouse is going to be fairly open. I, I've got in my mind's eye exactly what he's talking about, because I just freaking visited one last week, so... Um, are there any yeah, but, like, visible cameras on the outside? Yeah, I was thinking things more like that. Like, look for cameras, entry points. Entry points because, is easy. It's, it's the cameras I'm worried about. Well, yeah, could I do a matrix search for those? Yeah, um, you're currently over at the other site. You could do it, but you'll be taking, I believe, like a negative four just for distance and such. Would that distance be noise? Because I have, yeah. cause I have yes. five noise reduction. Then you would not be having a penalties in that aspect. All right, so matrix search. What is that? Computer. Computer intuition. Yep. All right, so then that six plus six is 12 plus two for hot sim. So with three hits, you are able to see that there are several cameras running wireless as you kind of go like one, two, three, and just count them off. There are two cameras that Flea has seen that are not running wireless, uh, one over the loading box, the loading bay, um, and one over the front door. The, uh, the wireless search 
for the cameras as well also shows like there's like two there um imagine like over barrel under barrel cameras um there are other ones on the corners there is a camera at the security checkpoint to get in and then there is a big one a not a big one a high one that is overlooking the parking lot and those are all the ones running wireless yes those are all running wireless and fleet noticed like a uh a uh, camera over the entrance and over the loading bay docks. And I didn't see this one, so they're running on, like, CCTV? Uh, they are hardlined or direct connected. Alright, so I'd have to enter the... Would I have to enter the host or jack into a, uh, a jack point in the building? You would have to enter the host of the building. And I have to be within, like, 100 meters to do that, you right? You have enough noise reduction to, uh, to handle that. Oh, then should I just do that now? Is that... Do you want to hack into the host now? Is... Yeah, so is anyone opposed to that? Uh, no, not at all. You uh, you knock yourself out. All right, um, uh, hey, real quick, can I get a matrix perception to see if we have any like anybody running wireless uh, rigor interfaces? I mean, I know it's a super long shot. I'm just going to check. Uh, sure. Go ahead and throw some dice. I am not trying to pull anything right now. I'm just curious to see what's up with the warehouse. So you don't see any with a... Uh, a currently wirelessly active um, interface. You do see that there are a couple of drones there that have um, their wireless on, probably connected to the host. The They may or may not have regular interfaces that may be able to be accessed or turned on via the host. Um, maybe they don't turn them on at night because they don't want people driving around their forklifts in the middle of the evening. Uh, can I tell if they're forklifts or if they're, like, security drones or anything? They are forklifts. Okay, good. There are two of them. For a distraction, I could, uh, take it straight out of Shadowrun Hong Kong. Um, Spoilers, no, 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 no. No, 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 it's just a minor story that Gobbit tells you. Um, no, I have a spoilers. I haven't played it yet. Don't, yeah, don't talk about, about it. Okay. Yeah. Just how about you acquiesce to people's request? Yay. Yeah, hey. Okay. Sorry. Um... Yeah, no, go buy the game right now and play it. So much fun. Um, yeah, so I'll mention that later without mentioning Chatteron, Hong Kong. Um, so I'm, uh, um, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I am adding all these stats for my deck. I'm just looking yep. around. Okie dokie. Um, sorry. Uh, there we go. So I'm going to make Sleaze 5. Um, attack to data processing. Um, sorry, one sec. Yeah, I'm gonna make data processing three and firewall four. Uh, you said you were announcing that you're in launching this intrusion thing over the DNI, right? Sorry. You, you're you're making it clear to us that you're actually trying to hack into the host right now. Uh, I said that over comlink. I said that. Okay, too. then I'm gonna go to silent and pull my drones back. All right, that's good. Look at this guy. Uh. All right, so I'm gonna try to hack on the fly into the host. Excellent. So throw those bones. Yep. One second. Just let me. What is the rule for that again? It is your hacking plus your logic. Uh, if you have Code Slinger for hack on the fly, or if you have a specialization in your hacking versus hosts, you will get those dice as well. All right. Um, so, hacking plus one more time, hacking plus intuition. Hacking plus logic. Oh, logic. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then two for hot sim, and I don't have any of the specializations, so that's six plus eight plus two is sixteen. There you go. So, I better not fail this. Alright, and I will double check my book here. Oh, I should open up my Matrix Cheat Sheets. Can yeah, I, I have the those. Hacker's Cookbook open. I lost my other cheat sheet. Oh, there it is. Is that your defense roll right there? That is indeed my defense roll. So, 
I'm assuming I make it. You in. have a mark on the host. Um. What would you like to do with your mark on the host? So, Cat9 in the Twitch chat is correct. I did not hop onto the correct grid first. So, um. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Knocking off the number of dice that you would have had off the end still yeah. leaves you with plenty of successes. And I was not running silent. I will be at this point. Um. So, yeah, running silent right now. And give me a sec. I might want to change. Yeah, um, do you mind moving those blueprints down a little bit just so I can change my programs? Thank you. I'm just going to change one to stealth so I get plus one to my sleaze. Just in case. And, um, I'll add running silent there. Alright, um, so yeah, I get a minus two because of hot sim, I get plus two, so that just cancels out. So yeah, I have a mark on the host, I want to enter the host. You're in the host, it looks like a, kind of like a warehouse on the inside of it, surprisingly enough. There are right, a couple so of things just kind of floating about, probably uh, remote orders being placed and processed and just... So yeah, I want to do a matrix perception check. So throw it. Um, just a sec. That is sixteen d six. Oh no, fourteen because uh, running silent. Um, and then so yeah, fourteen d six for matrix perception. Oh, uh, didn't do greater than five. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, yep. six. You uh, have a great many questions you can ask. What would you like to know, sir? Yay. Uh, first, I want to know, is there anyone running silent? There are no other personas currently active within the host. Okay. Um, I would like to look for those uh, closed-circuit TV cameras. Would that count as... Uh, something I can ask. There is a uh, security file folder that you can see. All right. Can I ask about the presence of a data bomb on that file? There is not a data bomb on that file. Then can I open that up? It is encrypted. Okay. I won't open that yet. I'll finish all my questions. I still have three left, right? Yes. Um... Just give me a sec. Uh, could you give me the encryption level of that file? Three. Three, okay. Easy enough. Um, so, and you said that I'm not able to find the TV cameras at this moment? In your right. knowing of things matrixy, you would assume that the thing marked security will have yeah. the the yeah, uh, I was just in the cameras. Yeah. Just making sure. Um so yeah, I think that's all I need to know really. Um so yeah, I'll try to get into that. The security file. I want to break the encryption obviously. Um so what is that role? Uh that will be a crack action, a crack file. Yes. Um, is there any way to do that in a sleazy way? Uh, let me Crack check. is an attack action. Yeah. All right. So then, uh, hacking plus logic. And actually, um, I'll turn browse to baby monitor just so I can know my Overwatch score. Okay. Um, alright, so, yeah. So if my Overwatch score goes up, then you tell me, right? 
You may ask what your Overwatch score is. I will not tell you until you ask. Okay, what is my Overwatch score? Good Two. Sir. Two out of... I'm actually... 40 weak. is when you need to worry about... Well, 39 is when you need to worry about shit. 40 is when shit goes wrong. Thank you. Um. So... So yeah, I want to crack that file. So that is... I have my cheat sheet open. Hacking plus logic. So that's... Six plus eight is fourteen, and I'm sorry for this, everyone. I know how long Matrix takes. Oh yeah, so do we. It is not <laughs> a problem. For the fifth reason, none of us are from deckers. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> Speak for yourself, man. I got a decker. Jembe Decker, best Decker. That's right, best Decker, Hon Seattle Barons. Honestly, though, like, it's it's not, like, amazing to play Decker, considering all the time that's taken from the run, but it's just, like, the iconic, like, Shadowrun experience. No, no, it, it totally is. It is, it is Basically, the reason I chose it. Like, I played Shadowrun Hong Kong, and I'm like, oh, I have to be a Decker in Runner Hub. So, you are able to crack the encryption on said file? Um, Yay! What would you like to do? So I want to do another matrix perception check. Okay. So same thing as earlier, 14d6. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, and I'm out of edge. Good can news, nothing horrible can happen from that. Can Not I make an extensive check? Well, you first you get your uh, you get your one question oh. from your success. Right. So, uh, what uh, what things can I see in here? So inside the the security folder, you can see that it has things like camera, uh, certified drone operators. It has a quick security personnel thing. It also has a um, a shift change log. You know that the guy who is out there on duty right now, let me click up my fake name generator. His name is Ralph. <laughs> His name is Ralph Irby. Oh, His name is Randy C. Dick. <laughs> Seriously? Yo, I, I would send you the link to it, but I can't because when you open the link, it'll just generate a random name for you, but I can I can click and drag his information that it generated. No, that's totally okay. That is awesome. I am I am 100% behind Randy K. Dick. C. Dick. Randy, Randy C. Dick. Dick. Okay. Uh, I've just decided that he is also gay, and that is what he is doing out there on his com link. What do you mean? That is what he's doing. That that is awesome. He is looking for sexy singles in his area. He is swiping right, that's right, what I right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now we need a run to destroy Tinder. All right. Uh, um, yes, wish. that that's the follow up to this. <laughs> Wouldn't it be Grinder? Um, so you. Uh... So yeah, I want to make that an extended test because that is not all that I want to know right now. Okay. So I want to go roll 13. That quick, and then I will ask you to roll something else afterwards. So I want to go 13d6 for this one, right? Cause yep. It's not the... There we go. Um, so does it take one question for to ask the same thing for each file? What do you mean? Like if I wanted to ask what's the encryption or is there a data bomb on this for every it single file? It is one question per thing. And yes. So are there data bombs on any of these files? You do not see data bombs on any of them. Uh, Alright. Can you do me a favor though and roll your sleaze attribute plus your logic? Um, sure. Um, one sec. Um, five plus eight. Um, thirteen. I cannot do math right now. It's like 10 p.m. No problem. We understand East, entirely. East Coast, Best Coast. Yes, that is yes. why it's called BEST. Okay. You notice that there is a... Uh, what looks like patrol ice has spawned. It is a man in a 
generic uniform with a generic blue baseball cap. He has a flashlight in his hand and is scouring the grounds. Considering the fact West Coast, that West Coast, West Coast, East Coast, East Coast. Hey, you shut your <laughs> So strafe, strafe yeah. dies. It is a random heart attack. It is the most freak accident of things. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, we were totally going to have to have another rigger. I get his RCC. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so um, so the ice does not notice me, right? Not at the moment. So, yeah, and I'm running silent, and give me a sec. Um, I probably want to put sneak on instead of baby monitor, but before I turn off baby monitor, what's my Overwatch score at? Three. Okay. All right. Um. So, where was I? Um. I don't know. So yeah. You checked all, right, all the so files near for data bombs. Yeah, there's no data bombs, so I probably want to access the camera files first. Yep. Well, what kind of file is it? Like a exe? I'm assuming. It's like a folder that, as you click it open, it has, uh, oh my God. date, time. And there's just going backwards like two weeks. All right, so um, I'm assuming they're video, right? Yes, given as they are from cameras. All right. Um, all right. Another matrix perception check. Let's not, not get too crazy there, Rob. So four questions. Um, mm -hmm. Are there data bombs on the files? Mm -mm. All right. And um, do what is the most recent edit date? The most recent edit date is of the uh, whatever today's date of nine twenty two twenty seventy six. It is a file that is currently being consistently updated. Almost right. as if it is a recording in progress. Alright, so... And, um... Do I see any personas nearby? Nope, there are still no personas outside of that patrol ice that is walking around. Alright. And, um... What... Is it protected? And what... If I no. can also ask that, what rating is it? Oh, never mind then. It um, is not protected. Alright, so then... Can I just kind of discreetly go into that file? Sure. You now have access to looking through the various cameras. All right. So I want to just look through the cameras, and each time I want to, I want to just look through every single one and mark where it is based on what I see. Okay. You also, have a... is there a way I could transmit this uh, video to um to the people on the outside just to show them? Like, yeah. You can definitely right, so yeah. send the the file the. Uh, the streaming link to your associates. I send that to all you guys and I say hey guys, this is the camera feeds um so yeah that's it, it doesn't look difficult this is of the warehouse, correct? yeah and you said they're static camera feeds okay? yeah, they're not they're not like the panning camera feeds but they have a pretty good uh, view angle of the the business areas that you actually care about having a camera on. I'm okay. gonna look. I'm gonna look through. Uh, if I can, I'm gonna look through and try to find camera blind spots. Okay. Um, take a look at your sheet real quick and see what we can see here. At my character sheet, or no. yep. yeah. Let's Right, just yeah. seeing if I could find. Uh, uh, if you want to roll your security design of thirteen dice, sir. Ah, finally I get to use that. Um. So with three hits, you not uh, just like a quick perusal of the the camera feeds. Um. You will see that the areas by the fences and stuff, like on the the outskirts of the thing, are not actually watched. Um, 
the back area where it is, you know, solid wall is not... Like, there's a camera there, but it's like, meh. Alright. And, um, do I know if there's anyone watching these cameras at the moment? In real you know life? that there's a security guard on staff? Um, whatever Randy is up to at the moment, he may or may not have one of those, you know... You know those scenes where there's always the camera guard with his feet up and he's doing something, but there's Yeah, the... it's like drinking coffee, then he just... Yeah, those... Yeah. So, somebody actively looking at it, you can't really tell, but... Can he, I tr can I trace his icon? You would need marks on him. Oh, right. Yes. Um, uh, that is unfortunate. So, yeah, I can't, can't really mark him at the moment. So, um, do I... So, can I... Do I have to do a matrix perception check to look for... Actually, never mind. All right, now. Um, so I exit out of the cameras and go back to that main folder. Uh-huh. And what were the other files? It was like a authorized drone users, security um, personnel slash uh, schedule as to which security people are on at what time. Uh, I feel like that was it. All right, so I'm going to contact the rest of the team. And I'm going to tell them that I have a plan. I'm going to run it by them really quick. Okay. I'm going to put Strafe. I am going to put you on the authorized drone users list. And I'm going to give you access to, like, all the drones if I'm able to. So you can use that to get reconnaissance without being suspected. And if I can, I'll put Buzzard, Flea, and Tommy Knocker on... Um, I'll put you all, you three, on the security guards list. So you guys can just stroll around without uh without being suspected. So I'll be perfectly honest, um, speaking as Flea, because Flea is me and I am he. I don't think putting me on the security list would be a good idea, for you see, while I am mighty in personality, I am short in stature, shut up GM. And I think that I would be more of a liability walking around as a security guard. That would be Terrible. No. Um, if uh, Tommy Knocker and if Buzzard so uh, deign to be so, you may certainly do so. But please, yes, please, do not put me on that list. That would be terrible, this sounded, terrible, terrible. This sounded like a Dr. Seuss Robert Frost crossover. Um, but yeah, continue. Uh, Tommy Knocker and Buzzard, how do you feel about that? Nah. I'm not a pig. Uh, yes, that's right. You see, uh, we have certain differences of opinion with the uh, security guards and police, etc., etc., of the uh, Seattle Metroplex and of the Earth as general, so um, we must respectfully decline your offer. Uh, we shall make do as we do. All right, then. So, straight uh, If you're, you're putting me on the list, put me down as Lamont Flowers. Lamont Flowers, alright, um, I'll put you down on the drone users list, just so you have access to drones, that's kind of your thing. Um, so I'm gonna go onto the registered drone users list then. Yep, there's a handful of names here, uh, looks like about six of them. Alright, so I want to, um, I probably, Matrix Perception first. Okay. Oh, that's 14d6. Yep. Alright, so six questions. So, is there any encryption? It is not encrypted, no. Alright, data bombs? No data bombs. And any personas watching it or anything? Nope. Alright, so then should be good. Um, oh, when was it last edited? Uh, three weeks ago, it looks like. Okay, so, I probably want to, uh, crack the file. It's not encrypted. Oh, yeah, 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 sorry. Um, so I'll just enter the file, and I want to edit file. So, yep. um, I don't want to copy and then delete the original and all that. Um, I will just change the file 
I will say, I will just add that Lamont Flowers, and I'll give a little picture of him if he has one. I will uh, say that. Not of me, though, right? No, no, no. no of, just put whoever, uh, yeah. Just not yeah, me. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, smart. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll just put in a picture of, um, of Dolph Lundgren. And I will say that it is Lamont Flowers, and that he is registered to use all drones on site. Sure. Give me that uh, that edit file roll. Um, sure. One sec. All right. Just computer plus logic. Um, so that's six plus eight, fourteen. There we go. Damn. All right, I'll, uh, allow me to roll my paltry six dice. <laughs> Congratulations, you have succeeded. All right, so then, that being that, he's on. I, I'll probably want to go into the security people file just to see how many security guards there are, but I'm not going to add or get rid of anyone. Or maybe I could... Uh, like lock authorizations to certain rooms, but that might make them suspicious. How do you guys feel about that? Um, like if I if I locked them all out from the rooms you were looking to go in. <laughs> that, that would be hilarious. You should totally do that. All right, I'll do that. Um, so yes, security file. I'll enter that. Yep. Um, so matrix perception, fourteen d six. Yep. There is there is no accentuating explosive murder your face things here. So yeah, so no data bombs. No data bombs, no encryption, encryption. no... Persona nobody, blocking it. Nobody hanging okay. out. So yeah, nothing as usual. Um, Alright, so then I'll enter it, and I want to do another edit file. Sure. Roll some dices. Um, it was, yeah, 14d6. Um, um, so... Ooh. You only have to well, oh, okay. Cool. There you go. Um. So yeah, I'll just. So what rooms are we gonna want to get in? Um. Uh, let's see here. Um. We're gonna want to get onto the manufacturing floor. Yep. And we will probably want to get into the manager's office because that will have the passcodes in order to allow us to easily access that um, particular thing, and that is probably where the chip that they are going to bring into the facility is going to be. All right. So, is there a way that even um, like I can edit this file whenever I want to, like even if I'm outside the host? Nope. Okay, that's what I thought. Um, so I'm just gonna. So yeah, let's um is everyone okay with go back to a hotel or whatever, kinda take a small rest, regain all of our edge, um, do a bit more legwork before we go on? Yes, you can totally hit a hotel, do whatever you please. Um, I believe I'm going to take my compatriots back to the pad and let them rest. I believe there was something to be said. They were hungry and we have so much food at home that they need to eat before it goes bad. So right. we will uh, table this for now. We will come back tomorrow and um, after we have had a filling meal and a copious amount of alcohol, we will try again. Alright, I will do the same thing without the copious amount of alcohol because I don't drink as much on the job. And, um... Oh, you thought these guys were Shadowrunners. <laughs> <laughs> um, so... I gotta take a bathroom break in real life. Yeah, we um, can definitely take another fiber. Yeah, so... This is a good resting point. Let's just kinda take a few minutes. Sure, yep. sure. Yes, we will, we will right. reconvene shortly. See you guys soon. Don't make fun of my saxophone skills. What and I'm actually phone skills. Just so you know, I'm actually pretty good in real life. Like, not joking. Boom. Yeah, get wrecked. <laughs> no, no, that was that was fine, fine. So awkward. <laughs> Ah.
Oh, I'm sorry. There was apparently three forklifts on this map. I was incorrect. Can you hear me? Yep, everybody went on a potty break. Conveniently while you were already filling your drink. I know, right? Jesus. It's the Matrix that does that to you. Yeah. Ah, uh, the quiet chirping of cicadas. Yes, that's how you know I'm back. Yes. Good evening, Sea Idol. Mm-hmm. I'm back. Is anyone else back? Nope. All right. Not nope. at all. I'll just browse right for a minute then. Is that why I hear a helicopter? Yeah, that's why you hear a helicopter. <laughs> At that mad audio perception specialization. Yeah, I've got a terribly oversensitive desk mic. Yeah, one of these days you'll have to join the Civilized Society and get like a headset mic with a... Seriously. Mad, yeah. I mean, I, I, I would, oh. but the headset mic I've got is incredibly uncomfortable and I like my Sennheisers. Um... Well, why don't you just get some Sennheiser headphones with the mic? Like I'm after, not made of money, sir. All right, like some you people want, in Las Vegas. All right, all right, all right. I am not made of money, sir. Get them, if you want some good <laughs> headphones, if you want some good headphones with a, I'm assuming good mic. That I'm using right now, Astro A40s for the PC. They're 150 bucks and really good audio and quality. They're absolute garbage. Uh oh. They're absolute garbage. Yes. <laughs> I don't don't mind me. I'm a, I'm an audiophile slash elitist when it comes to these things, so... He's if a giant. If He's a giant snob. I, I, I am a giant snob, yeah, when it comes to these things. <laughs> like, my headset is like 450 bucks, so don't, don't worry well, about yeah, it. I mean, Everything I mean, is Astro garbage, alright? Yeah, Everything is garbage unless it's that kind of quality, alright? The A40s <laughs> are garbage compared to, like, the best Sennheisers, but for 150 bucks, they're just good. <laughs> they're good for the shit quality they are. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, for, um, for you... For you uh, metal AF people out there, I just posted a link to the book. It was the night before 420. It was a pretty good book. There's nothing metal about that. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of metal, are we all actually back? Yep. I think so. I uh, believe so. Never left. Excellent. Solon, you must love it here. I'm chilling. I'm taking these. <laughs> Excellent. You are. So. For for strafe and wildfire, dawn comes with rosy figures. Uh, yeah. What time are you guys getting up? Uh, crack of noon. No, I wasn't asking you. I know you weren't getting up till fucking never. Well, you said you people automatically. I thought you meant me. No, you're not a person. You're a gnome. Hey, uh, strafe is also a heavy drinker. He probably would be waking up around noon. 
Excellent. Straight can crash at the at the crash pad tonight. He's awesome. <laughs> I w if you're offering free booze, I will take that offer. Have have, have a free night of my lifestyle. Uh, I'm gonna I roll some addictions. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm nice. gonna, um, I am going to probably wake up at nine ten a.m. Um. And I'll probably post a few poems to the Poetry Slam thread I made on my last run. And then I'll uh, wait for everyone else, all you drunkards, to get up. <laughs> okay. I I'm good. I'm, I'm not addicted to anything. Hold not on, yet. Hurl. <laughs> yeah, you're hanging out with them, so. Is there a dictionary on Hurl? Yes. Yes, there is. Son of a bitch. All right, it is there pull, to destroy you. <laughs> let me pull up the book so Tommy not for knows. Yeah, there's oh, it's four. Oh, whatever. All right, that's easy. Enough. God, I just bought these friggin' Sennheisers. Now I have to get another pair with a microphone on them for you damn people. Yeah, I've got two sets. I've got my audio files, and then I've got my gaming headset. I see. I would I would keep these Sennheisers and go to work, except I was wearing them at work and having a great time. Then my boss said, "No, you can't wear those because it offends my delicate sensibilities." I'm like, "Dude, fuck you!" But okay, fine. I like getting paid. You, you know what you can do is uh, you can set up a little switch, right? It's a big button that says "Get my attention," and then a little red light in your cubicle that says, "Hey, somebody's bothering me." <laughs> See, if I was gonna what do about that, Sennheisers is offensive. They're just giant black cans. What do they want? Like Beats by Dre or something? Um, yes. <laughs> no, they actually want earbuds or nothing because they they expect me to um, be attentive to anybody the moment that they walk up to my cubicle, even though I got these specifically because they're fuck off headphones. <laughs> God damn it! That, I, that's, that's why you my... get the button. I did that to my girlfriend the other day. She came home and was banging on the door, which is probably ten feet from me, with like a pizza in her hand, and I didn't hear her until the door opened. I was like, "Oops, not good." So that's why you but anyway, at the day. at the crack of noon to one p.m., how is the the party house doing, and what's the plan for today? Um, let me check my qualities, make sure I didn't take Insomniac. I didn't. That's awesome, which means I regained an edge. That's even better. Well, uh, well, they're still, like, drinking and sitting in a bouncy council with their, uh, groupie. I'm gonna be practicing my saxophone. Okay. Um, I am going to be doing an extended software test, and I totally need to change that specialization later to something else that is not a Technomancer uh, thread. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Yeah. I mean, unless you were one of those horrible uh, terrorists, but um, you're unfortunately not. No. Do you, I, do you want any help with the uh, with the software thing, or are you good? No. He's I composing right. music. I am composing music. That is why I have the software oh. skill. Um, I need to look at this and see what actual... Like, what do you mean editor is in the thing? Alright, fine. Uh, um, do, do, do. This guy sucks because they're all Technomancer threads. With the exception of data bombs. So the only spec I can take into software is data bombs. Okay, I'll look at that later. Let me go ahead and do my software test. Um, we are, what are you attempting to accomplish? I am attempting to accomplish a um, a copy of the EXE file that is on the data chip that was given to us by our Johnson, but I am going to change the file that it accesses to copy over to a um, crucible recording of the uh, Beach Battle of the Band Bros. And for the album cover, I'm going to make sure it is a picture of a uh, bear tattooed minotaur ass drowning in groupies. <laughs> it's a good yes. thing you have those cyber eyes. Yes, yes it is. If this cannot be unseen, I am going to share it with the world. 
he's also well hey you got Tommy's feed in there too. Do you yeah, still have that do you, do you still have that groupie all hung up with the uh with the um electric Suffer? collar? Suffer Dark Blood Bone Raven is at my beck and call because she is the awesomest contact ever. And well, eventually I will finish her entire backstory. But yeah, no, do you still have her electric collared up? Uh yes. Okay. She likes it. Don't let her tell you otherwise. <laughs> uh, so to edit the file would actually be a edit file action? Um, Which I believe for you is the same dice pool? No, it's gee, not. Let me look. Um, edit file is computer plus logic. However, if you wanted to take your your software editor specialization and put it into your computer as a edit file specialization, that would probably as, do what you wanted. As always, you can send it to me and have me help you out with it. Um, the I will do the edit file to computer specialization. Thank you. Um, and now that I do that, it's saying my karma is overdrawn. That's awesome. Well, you know what? To heck with let's, you. We'll okay. just fix it later. Yeah. Uh, okay, so that's going to be and I'm going to edge that because I just because you just got one back because I just got one back, so now it's gone again, so three successes uh, I feel like it would resist with uh, twice the device rating of the chip, I believe which is probably only the the chip or the uh, uh that would the the encryption, not encryption the the rating of the file. Yeah, um, would it even have a rating of the file without encryption on it. That that's going to go with somebody with more matrix experience than I've got. <coughs> as he as meant as actual as game mechanics, not right. no, uh, not, not skill. Would the, <laughs> the file have a rating, or would it be off of the chip's rating if there's no encryption on it? There would be no rating, it's just the file. Thank you, sir. That was awesome. Uh, Thank you, Cat. Yeah, so, um... Not even it on the run, and he jumps in. Love it. I know. Yeah. I'll, I'll, have to, I'll have to bribe him with a GMP later, because that was awesome. <laughs> Just shows up out of nowhere. So you uh, you begin to make some edits. Uh, you feeling good with your three hits of things that you have changed, or do you wish to? Uh, there's there's not much more I can do with it. Uh, well, you know what? I can go extend, can't I? You could probably. You have plenty of time. Uh, yeah. Uh, the look. other hungover people. What are you guys doing for this? Uh... I am praying in the center of my arcane circle, holding. Orbs of darkness in both of my hands as I recite the incantations to summon a Force Five Air Spirit. That's so awesome. Channeling my metal rage into more compo composing. Yes. Uh, I see you've done all of your things and you have one thingy from a thingy. Yep. <laughs> one service, and it is its optional power is going to be uh, elemental attack metal. And so, more of a elemental attack, sonic, death metal thing. Yes. Understood. It will metal scream at the person who uh, who attempts yes. it. Yep. Cool. Who um, dare raises its ire. So, whatever the interval is, I will go three intervals down, and I've got eight successes total. See if there's some rage in there. Uh, is that actually a, a rage test or is that a compose of metal things? Because I know you actually have a. Yeah, composing metal. I'm just going until I feel okay. <laughs> just don't mind me. So. I'm sure a lot of other shit's going on. So. Um, Different GMs have done it differently. How are you controlling Edge? Are you doing it like. 
GTA rules, like anything that could heal you in GTA gives you a uh, edge, or... I've never heard of that. Okay, my so, uh, GM last so game did that. Speaking, so speaking purely for the hub, uh, it goes by rules as written, which is either you do something insanely awesome and the GM, GM gives you an edge for that, or an eight-hour rest with a hearty meal at the end. Refreshes okay. one edge. Because last game I played, he was doing. He just decided to do uh, GTA rules. Yeah, that which which DM was that, by the way? Um, give me a sec. I'm trying to find it. Oh. Um, his slash you slash is Tarthy Shark Jr. Okay, I'll have a talk with him. Don't worry about it. Yep. Thank you. We we appreciate your help. Yep. Um, and yeah. Uh, Strafe, what are you up to this morning? I'm calling uh, Kyoko and getting a uh, uh, what do you think? Rating three license with the drone uh, license, or rating three send with the drone license for Lawrence Flowers? Um. I guess I get pulled. I'm using the is probably pretty good. What does that run? Because my I'm uh, using the just needs to look good thing, so it's going to be like uh, half price, I think. Um, Let me double check there. So, I know the the license would be six hundred. The sin would be seventy five. So it would just be four thousand for uh, um that sin. Yeah, and I got that in, in uh, cred, so. You wish to buy a rating 3 temporary self-destructing... Sin with a drone license on it. Sure. Let me just write that on the backstop here. For, what was the name uh, on Lamont, it? Lamont and Flowers. Should I add that to my chummers into self-destructing, or should I just subtract the money? Uh, for now, just subtract the money, because okay. it will self-destruct and thus uh, go away of its own accord. And that was, we said that was 4000 right? $4,000. Yeah, 4000 plus the seven fifty for the uh, drone license, I think. Yeah. Huh. You doing anything else? You just picking up the uh, the thing while uh, Tommy Knocker is composing. Buzzard is communing with the spirits of metal, and Flea is pirating his music in a reverse fashion. Now, once I get the sin done, I'm just gonna check and make sure my drones are in condition. So I'll head to yep. the van and just look them over. Yep, they seem to be in the condition you left them in last night. Uh, appears you did not try to jack into them while drunk and or high, and or any of that kind of stuff. That's what I was worried about. And what do you guys want to do? It's probably around this time, about 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So by about 4 in the afternoon, I'll, I'll see what all the other uh, gentlemen are doing. And, um... Gosh, can we get to the, uh... Um, First place in time to kind of see what it looks like at closing time, or are we are we going to make that? Yeah, it is like two hours until the uh, the unwashed masses are released from their uh, bondage. <laughs> bondage, awesome. Um, then yes, um, I will see yes. if the others want to drive with Flea. He will promise because it is not Tuesday anymore; it is now Wednesday. He will not hotbox the van, and he does not. Thank you, God. He does not have palming, so it will be easily seen if he's crossing his fingers or not. So he can be called out on it. <laughs> I like to think that it's more of a fact Flea. that you make. Flea, no, don't. I, don't don't hot box again. But, okay. I couldn't even see anything yesterday. Okay, I'm just yeah. It's, it's what did we do with that sack with Jim and Rummy in it? Did we? I don't think we buried him yet. Is he in the freezer? I seem to remember writing "dead no. duck do not eat" on it. 
or was no, that it was something not else? a freezer. That was that was something else. That was my lunch. Oh, so it, there's not a dead duck in your lunch. I promise. No, I no. Don't worry about it. Okay, I. So I'm going to drive back over to um, the K fob or the M fob, excuse me. And yep. we are going to take a look at things, and if the others want to go, they totally can. The van will not be hotboxed, and um, we will probably stop off at the four-star equivalent of Denny's, so Supper Dark Blood Bone Raven can actually get something to eat. Because it so is that time of the week. You pull over at the Lenny's. Uh, the Lenny's again. But yeah. okay. No. No, 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 no. This is going to go bad. You need somewhere that has the eggs wood house or it's never going to fucking end. We have to get... Seriously, anything. Please, tell me. We'll go to taste. We will go to taste. We will have a wonderful breakfast, even though it is... Um... Oh, we should probably and do that pleasure. after the drive, because if we go there now, we're not going to get out of there until 8, and everything's going to be closed again. Why don't we just order for takeout? I the flea's gonna pinch the bridge of his nose. Like... Alright. Suffer Suffer makes a good table. Yeah. Yeah, she does. Yeah, she's great. Okay, we'll order. She makes a very out. tiny table, so you have to limit how much you order. It, it's flea. He, he he has like an egg and he's done. <laughs> I like to imagine one of those incredibly grandiose Fabergé eggs that are like super fancy on the outside and are just an egg on the inside it's a chocolate egg on the inside <laughs> oh I thought this was breakfast time so it would just be like it, it is breakfast time so it would be a Fabergé Cadbury egg <laughs> Fabergé Cadbury <laughs> a Fraserberry egg yes oh god what are we doing now um you know what you you call down the you, you reap the wind or you sow the wind so you can reap the old one So you guys go means. to a to a place that unfortunately does not serve eggs wood house. Uh, all right, I'm at minus three now because this is terrible. Should I meet up with you guys? Are you like discussing anything, or should I just keep practicing at home? Um, if you want to keep, we're discussing home. lunch and breakfast. And if you want to try and um, sleaze your way into the host at the office building too, so we can get an idea of what's there, that would be awesome. All right, sure. I will get on that. Um, so I'll just drive out to the host, kind of sit down in the car outside the building, uh, hack on the fly into the host. So give me a sec. Hack on the fly. Uh, hacking plus logic. So yeah, it's fourteen. Um, plus two, four, right, so sixteen. Um, first, I want to hop to the, um, to the Seattle City Grid, because a medium class or medium lifestyle, so that should get me what I need. Or the highest I can, anyway. Is that good? I'm sorry, I was spacing out trying to handle something. <laughs> um, so yeah, first I just want to hop to the um, Seattle City, uh, Emerald City grid, okay. which I should be able to get to because I'm medium lifestyle. Yep, you are boop. All right, and then rolling 16d6 to hack on the fly for the host. Am I in? Ooh, so um, if it is a tie, defender wins, and when defender wins, that means that you would not get a mark on the host, and the host would get a mark on you for his lease action. All right, so I'll reboot my device. Okay. Do I need to roll anything or just? Um, and then I'll, I guess I'll try again. Oh, 
Okay. Same six successes. Get ruined. <laughs> Damn. All right, reboot my device. Try again. <laughs> um. Really quick, can I check my Overwatch? You have just rebooted your Overwatch to zero, sir. Oh right. <laughs> um. So sixteen d six greater than five. Or three. Oh god, no. Oh god, no. <laughs> Alright, reboot, try again. Hey, there we go. Okay, you have a mark on the host. Um, just a sec. Um. All right, so yeah, mark on the host. Then I'll want to grid or er, enter the host. Um, alright, see, so yeah, I'm in the host. What did you guys want me to do on here? Um, we would like you to find the server, or the files, or icons, or devices, or whatever the hell they're called, that would indicate the presence of security, cameras, and otherwise, and then the, um, files that would be the music that they're turning into terrible, terrible new yen. Alright. Wonderful, so, wonderful new yin. Matrix perception, so that's intuition plus computer. And I have a focus in matrix perception, so that's 8 plus 6 is uh, 14 plus 2 for hot sim, so that's another 16. Roll 16d6 greater than 5. Uh or matrix perception. Oh, really? Just give me one second to do some things here. Um. So inside, you will see that there is a um, there is a dude in the security stuff. And Does he appear he, alerted? Do we have any idea? He is actively searching. Oh shit! Um, all right. It's almost so. as if somebody poking the server over and over again would send them on the, some kind of alert. <laughs> I have no so, idea what you're yeah. talking about. Um. So yeah, I'll turn on running silent. Okay. So yeah, that's minus two. That evens out. So yeah. Um. Yeah, so yeah, I want to look for. Uh, I have two questions to ask. So what do I want to ask? I'm looking for files, right? You were looking for some security stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. I want to find cameras, and sensors that around me. Okay. There is a security folder that has right. some of that stuff in it. And ooh. Um I want to see if there's a data bomb on that. Alright. First could you roll me your uh, your thirteen dice real quick? Uh sure. And I will roll Ooh, thank you. Okay. Um, Alright, so no data bombs, I'm assuming. You do not see any data bombs. It is encrypted, though, with level 4 encryption. Well, I didn't ask that, but thank you. <laughs> um, 
So what is that? Break encryption. Crack, crack file. file. Uh, hacking logic. That's eight plus six. Um, fourteen. Um, so yeah. Oh, please don't get three or higher. Uh oh. That that would be three or higher. Yeah, it would. Yeah. Um, and I. I'm sorry. That would only be that would be a tie because it was supposed to roll eight because it's encryption four, not nine. Mm. But it's still three hits. Uh, I believe I need net hits to uh cause you damage. Um, so you're lucky in that aspect of things. All right, cool. Actually, it's a failed roll. Right, and a failed attack roll. Because this is a decryption, correct? Yep. Okay. Uh, oh, that means I have to open a book. Correct. <laughs> and for it's matrix damage, roll. I fill in the box that says stun, correct? No, no, if it's going to be the the failed attack roll will not cause damage, there's not enough that hits against him. But if it's a failed roll in the data bomb, the data bomb goes off. There is no data bomb. It would be an, an encryption. So yeah. the encryption will hold. Yep. And, and uh, because it's... No one knows who did it, actually, oddly enough. If it's an attack roll, no one knows what happened. Oh, no. With an attack roll, they know that Something happened, but they don't. Build attack did. rolls. Build attack rolls create no knowledge. No oh, that's true. A fail, a yep. failed roll will not will not cause the alert. Only a successful one does. It's no, not really a successful problem. defense. It's it's man, attack rolls and all the matrix are freaking uh, confusing. But They're... I do I do recall it saying if the attack roll fails it does not cause an alert it's just the the net hits will will cause feedback because you hit yourself instead of the other guy with the uh, matrix attack. Stupid matrix. Exactly, it's matrix bullshit. Your stuff. All right, not important right now figure it out later when I read this section for the millionth time. Right. Yeah. Alright, so can I re-roll or are you still reading? Uh, well, first you're going to have to roll me another hide check, I think. Another which check? Um, 13, the 13 dice? Yeah. If you fail with that attack action, you are not going to lose Oh, now I get four. Uh oh. That that is an uh oh. That is a big uh oh. So you're kind of messing with the file, trying to see what is up, and then the area around you is suddenly illuminated as the guy that was doing the patrol ice thing. Science's flashlight directly upon you. All right. Um. So, should I describe my icon? If you want, because after this All we're right. gonna have to. Uh, um, I have thought it more through. Interesting. So I'll just say I am a lion. Um. All right. So. I'm assuming roll for matrix initiative. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. So I figure out what hosts roll for initiative. All right, and and I don't get plus. T or actually, uh, should I turn off running silent, considering that they see me anyway? Uh, I cannot tell you that. Rest of team, should I turn off running silent? Um. Yeah, sure. Why not? All right. So yeah, turn off running silence to get a plus two. So six plus data processing plus forty six. My data processing at the moment is where did I put it there. Three. So um three plus uh, I cannot math. Uh three plus six plus forty six. 
So that's seven. Yeah. Wait, three plus six is nine. So. Okay. You, I thought you said three <laughs> d six plus forty six. Oh no. no. Um. Yeah. Okay. That's like the first time I've ever been first in the uh, initiative order. Alright, so you're gonna wanna take out the patrol first. So I will hack on the fly him. Okay. And running talent is off, so I get the plus two. So I should be at 16 d6 for this. Alright, five. Respectable. Hey, there we go. Alright, so I have a mark. Um, are the rest of you guys at brunch? Yes. Um, nom nom. That's not fun. It would be nice if you guys could come here and help if you have time. Um, but you're, you're whatever. on the internet. We are, we are in the meet, so... Well, yeah, but I mean, I could trace Icon. You could just go in and shoot him in the face repeatedly. Or smash him with a guitar or something. Just um, want to point out that it's a host. It is not a thing that you can shoot in the face. Oh, right, right. Yeah, I was thinking the patrol was a persona. Cause nope. It, well, it is, I think that they are technically personas. They're just... Uh, is they ice or... I don't yeah, know. It, it is just, ice. It's icy. So there, there's really nothing that I can shoot the face. But um, yeah, we true. will take your suggestion under advisement. And <laughs> I believe the Belgian waffles are next on the list. Okay. Um, Make sure mine has, ex has extra blueberries. Yo, I was outright furious when the Denny's by my house no longer serves blueberries. It was bullshit. That is bullshit. Alright, so I think. How do you it's not serve blueberries? Right? So the patrol is up since I just marked him. That is my action. Yep, the patrol is just kind of like. Warning, warning! Uh, and then on the host's turn, a thing will spawn. A thing! Hooray! Or How do I stop things from spawning? Um, you crash you don't. the host. Oh. <laughs> Fun. Um. Would that be a format device? Or nope. It's not a device, it is a host. In, in order to crash a host, that would require going into the deep matrix, I believe, in order to um, go into the foundation and wreck the host from there. Uh, that's if you want to uh, permanently kill the host. If you want to crash it, it's just matrix damage, oh. and it reboots after a certain time. Okay. Right. Then I'll try Unless I'm that. mistaken, Cap might want to... Uh, that things. sounds reasonable to me. I've never had to crash a host, but hey... Like I know, if you if you kill the host from the inside, it's it's done and never comes back. Right. But before that, there was you can do matrix damage enough equal to some metric in order to crash it so that it goes down, but it reboots. Would I be allowed to know uh, how much matrix damage I would need to do to take down the host, or is that GM only knowledge? Uh, I. I think they have the same amount of boxes as a device would. I'm not 100% right. sure on that. Um, so, a rating 4 will have 10 boxes. Okay. Alright, um, so... I You guess, are up, sir. I guess I should go for the data spike on the host. So that's cyber combat plus logic. Which is... Um... 12, or no, not 12. Um, yeah, 4 plus 8, so yeah, 12. Plus 2 for hot sim, so 14. Uh, 
And that is for data spiking the host. Four twelve. I'm sorry, four eight. Oh. So your uh, your data spike is unfortunately not uh, not effective. All right. I apologize, sir. Uh, I will now click on the thing that I was going to do and find out its thing. I get to do this. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Yeah. If you wish to roll logic plus fireball, please. Who? All right. Oh, not it. So that's eight plus four. So yeah, thirteen. Are you kidding me? Nice. Good news. You are the defender in this situation. Yay. I have awful dice luck. Um. Alright, so my turn no. Uh yes. it would come back to your turn because the patrol okay. ace will be like, There's a guy <laughs> Just imagining like Paul Blart just standing there with a flashlight with this guy just attacking him, just like, There he is, get him Yep. So it is uh it is all you sir. Alright, I'll try data spiking data spiking the host again. So cyber combat plus logic. Um give me a sec. Um so that's so yeah, twelve plus two for hot is fourteen. Yay, there we go. Woo! I did it, Reddit. So what is your attack? Uh, data spike. What is your attack rating? Oh, my attack rating... Give me a sec. Um... Maybe by attack rating, do you mean cyber combat rating, or...? I mean, the attack rating of your deck. Oh, oh, sorry. Um, I am stupid. Um, two, right now. Okay, we're going to assume that you are moderately competent and change that beforehand, otherwise all of yes. your data spikes would have been a limit of two, and I would be... Of course. Be I'm just switching around rolling. please and attack. Which makes your attack a what now? A five. Okay. And uh, I have one mark on the host, don't I? Yes. So, yeah, it's... Yeah. Okay, let me find out. Do, 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 do. Turn to the place rating plus firewall. And I will spend a point of GM edge to punish. Really? Punishment is a wonderful thing. Yep, so you have you have done some stuff. Alright. Uh okay. If you want to roll your logic plus firewall again as ice number two uh, does stuff. Way. Okie dokie. Alright, so. I Did I damage the host at all? Matrix damage is a funny thing, and it doesn't actually do anything until you filled its condition modifier. Okay. Um. So then I guess another data spike on the host. You're yeah. out of initiative. It is time to roll initiative again. All right. I'm really quick. It's, is it a free action to switch programs? I cannot remember right now. It is. All right, then really quick. I might... Um, I might turn on hammer and replace stealth with hammer. Um, alright, so I have 7 plus 46. Or no, 9 plus 46. Just gonna make sure that's right. Um, 
Three data processing plus six, yeah, that's nine. Twenty-two. So that puts me at the top of the order. Sure does. Um, you are up, sir. All right. So let's see. What do I want to do here? Um, Matrix bike the host would okay. probably be good. There are some dice. So yeah, that's um thirteen d six. Is that no? I'm I don't. Sorry, I do not pay attention to your dice pools. Yeah, neither do I. <laughs> um. So yeah, it's cyber combat twelve plus two for hot sim. So that's fourteen. And I get plus two DV to matrix damage because of hammer. Right, we'll see if you hit it first. Yeah. Uh, double check. Four, eight, eleven. Oh, I'll spend a GM edge again just to screw you. How much do you have? Uh, um, probably only three. Or as much as is relevant. As much as is relevant is always fun. Theoretically, I could give myself probably up to the rating of this host. Um, theoretically, yes, you could. That that would be a good compromise, but I feel like I will save one for later on sometime to come up at an inappropriate time, hopefully. Inappropriate moments are always enjoyable. Yes. So, unfortunately, you uh unable to land your data spike this time as host spawns a thing. <laughs> More things! Ha <laughs> ha! I really need to up the edge on this character. What's uh, the standard karma give out for each run? Or is it just... That depends upon the run. Alright, yeah. yeah. If you wish to roll logic plus firewall versus that. Yep. Oh. Unfortunate. Uh, ice number three gets to roll initiative. It's getting cold in here. Better put us ready. What? <laughs> I'm just gonna like take a nap every time it's uh it's GM's turn. Well, the patrol ice isn't doing anything, so that's a that's a plus. All right, cool. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna keep trying to data spike the host. Okay. I'm getting... What is that? 14d6. Oh, shit. Sorry, sir. The one time that you're not using edge. Alright, uh, yeah, your turn. Alright, uh, patrol does nothing, host does nothing, ice 2 does its thing again. Ah, oh, um, god damn it. So, 13d6? Yep. Alright, that's blocked, get wrecked, ice. I'll just have my 13d6 ready. Let me figure out what this other one can do. Oh, that doesn't do anything. Types of ice. So you can roll intuition plus firewall versus that? Uh, yeah, 13 again. Boom. Right. You have successfully oh, 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 not, today. not had bad things happen to you. Successfully not having bad things happen to you is always uh, always preferable. All right, yeah, that yeah, that's a good rule for life. Um, uh, so the unfortunate news is that the ice had more initiative than you, so I guess it again. Okay. Womp womp. <laughs> Come on! Oh, ooh. There is a mark on you, sir. Alright, um... 
would checking as my would check my Overwatch score count as my action this turn? Uh, do you have baby monitor? Uh, yes, I do. Yeah. Uh, uh, I which you replaced baby monitor with another program earlier. Yes, so, I did. So checking of the Overwatch when baby monitor is running is not like an action, but you would need to spend a free action to swap one of your programs to get baby monitor up. So yeah, would that wouldn't really take away any of my turn, would it? It would take away your free action. So dependent okay. upon what your You can actively check your Overwatch score, but actively checking your Overwatch score without baby monitor would be a standard action. Yeah. That's what I thought. Alright, so yeah, I'll switch out sneak with that. I might bring that back soon, depending on my Overwatch score. So now Overwatch checking my Overwatch score is now a free action. It's now just a thing so. you ask, it's not actually a oh, action okay. of any kind. So what's my Overwatch score then? Thirty one. Oh shit. Alright, I'm gonna take this turn. Then if the host isn't knocked out, I'm just gonna turn off my deck and run. Um well, right, it, so it is your go. Yeah, I will do another hammer him in the face uh what's the face spike, that's it. Um On the host. So, yeah. Okay. Fourteen D six. When I get this one it might actually work. Honestly, I'm not sure though. Boom. I will be a benevolent god. <laughs> and not edge that. So that would be 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Right, 5 for your attack rating, 2 for your mark, 2 for hammer, and then 1 uh, for your yeah. net hit. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. And then I roll, I think it's rating times two to resist that damage. Uh, um, I'll yes, look at my cheat sheet. That would be correct. It's... Okay, then yeah, do that. I will... Yeah, fuck it, why not? Alright, so, uh... Good news, bad news. One, you have data spiked the host. The host suddenly goes offline. You are, you are dump shocked. Yep, that's fine. I need to get offline anyway. I'm assuming I'm bleeding from the eyes. There's uh, some it, damage that needs to be soaked, I think. Yeah, let me just double check how much damage is. Six physical straight. He's got to do six physical, adds in, uh, it's a uh, willpower plus firewall. If he's not bricked, I think it's still firewall. If he's bricked, it's only willpower. So willpower plus firewall because your deck is not ruined. All right. Yeah, so that's times out of ten, I had this conversation. There's no firewall because I break somebody. So hey, new thing. Yeah, last time I was playing a technomancer turned off my firewall and started attacking me, and I just yeah. So if you will enjoy four physical damage, sir. All right. Um, I'll mark that in. So yeah, you just you just um, I'm not <laughs> sorry, I'm really sorry about this. I'm well, such a new, but for the condition monitor, it's just you fill in the top left and then you go right uh, each time, right? Yep. So you have four filled four boxes. Yep. All right. So obviously, with four physical damage, that I probably want to get that healed as soon as possible. Does uh does resting and stuff get you healed? It does. Healing physical damage is a daily based test. It is. Okay. Um. So then, I'll just go back to my home or to the hotel room or whatever, and I'll just take a 24 hours rest or eight hours rest or whatever it is, and a nice nutritious meal. So uh, how's brunch going, guys? Absolutely sugar. fucking delicious. Um, <laughs> they, they brought this I called them up and I'm like, I called them up and I'm like, hey guys, um, I'm kind of hurt and I just crashed the, uh, I just crashed the host for the place we were trying to get into. What are you guys doing? Flea is going to hang up his comm link and turn them off. <laughs> yeah, Buster is going to do the same. <laughs> Gotta follow the leader on this one. 
Yeah. All right, I'm I'm just gonna leave a voicemail if you can do that. Just saying, hey guys, thanks for the concern. Um, I'm really glad to be running with you. You guys seem like really really kind-hearted people. <laughs> Three of them are not runners. <laughs> hey, guys, I just did something massively illegal. I'm going to get the fuck off the phone. <laughs> well, that's nice. I don't have a metal link anymore. Crunch. Uh, and, I feel like uh, the voicemail being like, you know, I really am hurt, but it's okay. I'll just I'll just fix that myself, you know? Just kind of roll some gauze over it. Thank you, guys. Uh, Flea is going to look forlornly at his... Uh, High dollar trance is Avalon, and he is going to hand it over to Buzzard and say, "Please, uh, pl please do as you do." I am going to go shopping. Uh, okay. As All right. He holds it up and lets the the air spirit use his home service to brick it. A as horrendous a but beautiful metal scream comes out and just obliterates the uh, the poor phone. Uh, uh, two of them. He probably got mine too. I yeah. can't. <laughs> Flea will shed a manly tear because that was that was beautiful. In standard wildfire fashion, I will call the room service and I will order the room free brunch. Uh, so uh, the the sax kid, he, uh, he he's not so good at that matrix, is he? Um, guessing not. The plan I had is not going to work, so we are going to go ahead with plan B. Plan B, uh, instead of walking into the place and being my usual charming self while um, we uh, do our usual crucible thing and then insert the ship into their servers, we are going to then march into the manufactorium and I will be my charming self while Crucible does its thing and we inject the chip into the production plant. And maybe while you're getting bullets lobbed into your skin, I can have brunch. Yep. You do that. You do that. <laughs> so, uh, are we gonna just walk in and melt their faces? Um, you know, that I, is... I wasn't part of the planning. The, the hurl kind of got to me. Um, so the planning was a magnificent ball of a sphere, really, a, a sphere of possibility with um, neurons of thought firing, flittering here and there, uh, sparking in a um, vibrant display of, of inspiration. Um, I didn't actually share it with anyone, though. So what we shall do, because um, their servers have crashed, a, a, a crying shame, we ourselves shall go to the Manufactorium, we shall report to them that um, the uh, gentle guard there that we are there to uh, set up the music because they're having technical difficulties. If he gives us any guff, buzzard, my bestest friend, you will punch him in the face until he stops moving around and being so annoying and then we will walk inside and we will do as we do and then we will run away. Hey guys, you know, um... He did get me employee credentials on the manufactured place, remember? So I'm technically a drone operator there. If that helps. Oh, that that does help. And if you are on the security schedule, then you can simply walk in and inject the chip and walk away, and we are done. I can get you on the security schedule. The host that's been crashed. So he crashed no, the host that on the, the. That was the office. Oh, on the, the office. The he also no does not have your comlink codes anymore because you have destroyed them. Yes. But yeah, I need to. I need to re-enter anyway. I only had you on the drone schedule, I might as well put you in the guard schedule too. The issue here is that you do not actually know what we're talking about because we are not talking to you. We have yeah. essentially cut all contact with you after you admitted to us over DNI or comlink call that you have done a highly illegal thing and sort of alerted the uh, people to our nefarious doings. So we cracked our comlinks, actually destroyed them so they could not be traced back to us. All right, yeah, that, yeah, you did um, my part. So, uh, are we just gonna walk up and melt faces? Cause I yeah. can do that. Yeah, we totally are. It's gonna be great. Okay. I will totally be recording. Tommy will be recording, and we will put this stuff into a music video later okay. with some judicious editing. <laughs> okay, okay. And, uh, I just, just since I'm sober, and I got enough blinces in me to understand things right now. Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait. You're sober? 
Yeah, I'm sober. Oh, no, I need, no, I, need no. I need Magma for stole right now. Put that shit back over there. No, it's for me. I will hold you I can't. over like a football. This this is for me, not for you. Don't don't you even. You drink hurl and nothing but hurl. This is for me because I have to calm my nerves. I've never heard this from you before. <laughs> No, it's look. I just want to make sure: are we figuratively melting them, or are we going to literally melt them? Well, no. I was thinking that if we just, you know, play as if we're there for a reason, okay. they're not going to ask too many questions. That's and then no, no. we we rock them out while our our, our new friend here, and he'll kind of poke straight in the shoulder with his massive troll finger, does all the actual work. We're good. And it's oh. part of a new music video that we're going to release virally. Right. Um, I, like, really I remember quick. seeing something like this, like the historical stuff. There's some band that did something like that. Fuck yes. Yeah. Um, Roll um, your. Uh, don't you have some kind of relevant music knowledge that could tell you exactly what that is? Uh, I got musical theory. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> I'm gonna really roll quick. my goblin thrash metal. Really it's quick, four Rob. Goblins. I'm thinking breaking the law, the video for that. That's what I'm thinking. But um, is it okay if I do just like a matrix perception or a matrix search to see if anyone is following me after I made that really stupid call? So when you dump shocked, um, I'm going to imagine that your next step was resetting your deck in your oh god, it hurts so bad. Uh, yeah, I thought that was uh, Yeah. So they would not. They also only got one mark on you. You know that it takes two marks to do a proper trace icon. So in your bleary, oh god, this is the end of the world thing, uh, you don't see anybody that's following you at this point. Alright, so then, um, having a magical third eye thinking ability called Skype, would I uh, know what. I'm sorry, metagame is not a. Uh... I'm sorry, metagame is not an applicable skill in Shadowrun. Alright, yeah, yeah, I was just wondering if I could, like, kinda guess where you were going or not. Um, unfortunately, I guess, I guess you could try. If you do, you are kind of gaming with three admins of the Rubber Runner Hub, and we do kind of frown on that thing, so... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was just, yeah. I was wondering if that was something I could do, just like... It in theory, sure. However, in reality, that's way too huge on the metagaming side. It, it would okay. be bad. The uh, the good news is is that they still have your com information probably in their heads because I know that at least one or two of them have cyber eyes and would have probably recorded that as it you know showed up accept call from eight seven six yeah. five three zero nine. Right. And, oh, the, like and the other one has higher lo has a high enough memory score to recall that at a moment's notice. So, yeah, we have we have the ability to call you. You're just gonna have to you lick your wounds as it, as it is called. Yeah. So, <laughs> all right. So I'll just um. So yeah, I'll just head back to my house. Or do we have like a set established meet point at this point? Nope. Nope. All right. Then yeah, I'll just head back to the, my house in Tacoma to get some rest. It's uh, probably a good idea. Kind of just chill. Just had your, your brains exploded. Yeah, just see if you guys contact me at any point. The, uh, the rest of you guys are trying to remember the Breaking the Law video, I believe it was. Uh, hey, I got three successes on Breaking the Law. Um, wait, really quick. Um, <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. I'm just saying. I'm just gonna send one more message or DNI to one of you, just saying, "Hey, no one traced me on that last call. I did a throw search." And then um, on the floor of the Lenny's, a small microchip will beep a color and then slowly fade to darkness. <laughs> well, I'm assuming I'm gonna try to um, just all of you, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. Either For way. Memory serves. There were several. Beeping microchips. Oh, you threw all yours in? I thought it was just one. Okay. No, no, no we all dumped them. Yeah, then, no. okay, yeah, this, those beeping microchips just slowly settle slowly into the floor. Slowly fade the into obscurity. And uh, they get stepped on by some clumsy server. 
Nope, they were destroyed by the sonic screech of a metal banshee of Spirit of Air. <laughs> yes. And it was metal, and everybody else in the Lenny's got very upset. It was like, what was that? And then you were probably asked to leave, which I imagine you complained on the way out and refused to pay for your meal, because that is metal. Um, yes. Yeah, that's what we did the last time. <laughs> I like to think that it's I a don't different want to pay Lenny's. For this meal. It was terrible anyways. Um, I get your box full of blunts. It's coming with me. Period. <laughs> Alright, so to get in contact with them, I guess I'll just go sit in the uh, sit in the lobby of their building. Until How do they... you know what their building is? You were never oh. there. They never brought you back there. Oh yeah, right. Um, you huh. can try hanging out in like the Runner Hub IC room and that might be one of us getting online there at some point today. Um, because that's like an open network. How how extensive are the um are the traffic cameras at intersections in Seattle? Specifically, the part that we have been in this run. Apologies, I was going pee. I will now become the wet blanket that you have said twice that you're going to go home and sleep this one off. And then about four times attempt to get back into things. Somehow that makes very little sense because you now wish to hack all of Seattle's camera grid to <laughs> track everybody down. So I'll have to ask that you stop and allow them to proceed with right. the plan that they have begun to concoct. <laughs> my idea, man. My idea. This is what you do to me. This is what you do to me. Oh, uh, wasn't it that one thing? Yeah. Here. There you go, Tommy. Was that what you were looking for? Yes. Yes, it is. So, Crucible plus Strafe, what are you guys up to? Crucible plus Strafe is going to go comlink shopping. Okay. <laughs> Three metal people and Strafe walk into a not Best Buy. Okay. I would like to buy a transit more. Pick it up at Avalon too. Uh, do do do. There was something better. Um, the Calip. The Caliban was the rating seven. Yeah, well, they've, they've also because data trails got added to um, Hero Lab. There's also the Fuji Cyber X seven, which is the exact same thing, but it's Fuji, which is better. Yeah. Wait, um, are there any? Just out of curiosity, are there any um, like expansion packs to Five E that are currently not allowed on the hub? No. Just the lockdown book. Yeah, All we, right. we're not doing lockdown, but everything else is kosher. All right, thank you. So, and I'm going to erase the four physical damage for my thing. Is that okay? Uh, you're no. gonna have to roll for that first. You oh. need 24 hours of rest, sir. Sorry, okay, doing then. it again. Sorry, Rob. Sorry, sorry. Uh, then uh, yeah, then that's happening right now. 24 hours of rest. I'm resting for the third time that you've said it. I want to <laughs> I want to point that out that I continue to tell you that they are trying to do stuff and you keep interjecting yourself in a way that <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm actually not giggling about at this point. Yeah, like it's it's starting to get extreme. You've yep, I'll, you've monopolized I'll two and a half hours of this three and a half hour run. Um, so so yes, uh, we've got uh, two requests for a um, Transis Avalon. I want to see if they have the Fuji Cyber X7 in stock because I require the very best. Awesome. Roll. Uh... It's not a restrictor or anything, right? It's just uh, kind of... It is. The, the availability is 14, so if you want me to roll negotiation, I totally will. Sure, you can totally <laughs> roll negotiation as more of a luck and or... I imagine it as brow beating the poor guy in the blue polo who is... Uh, effectively ends up taking it from somebody else's order and fudging a thingamajig. Yeah, no, some poor other schmuck is not getting their Fuji because he has arranged to get it to you. 
Um, <laughs> I will happily thank him, and I will also buy a metal link. And that is rating two, so I will buy those hits. Yeah. Yay! All my money. Okay, I'm happy. <laughs> I am, I am a happy customer now. I have I have ceased my tantrum. Um, he or is. I can stir up the tantrum back up if they have to roll for their transit Avalon. Uh. They're twelve, right? Uh, yeah, I they're do. twelve. Yes, they are. Yeah. No, you guys can just buy those. Somebody is. If Flea did not throw a, a tantrum, it would have been, you know, incredibly out of character for him. Yes. Okay. And those those are five thousand yen for those who did not know. Um, anybody who has zero one does know. Anybody who has tremor might have to double check. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how to remove it from my sheet, so I just paid for a new one and keeping the old stats on it. Is that cool? Cool. That would be the way to do it, yeah. So, you guys now have bright, shiny new phones that totally do not have the settings the way that you had them? What are you talking about? I had five metal links. I broke one of my five metal links. I'm sorry. I forgot that... Uh... I planned ahead. Uh, if I well, hadn't already broken my one metal link, so I had to buy a new one. Yeah. That's, uh, that's your, How much is a metal link? I might want to get one of those now. They're like a hundred bucks. Yeah. They I'm, are I'm literally. Buying, like, I'm gonna buy a huge handful. Just give me like five. Yeah. That's the kind of thing you can just stop at the stuffer shack, go to the prepaid phone aisle, and just grab them like a bunch of drug dealers. I, I like to think I go to like Chuck E. Cheese and hit the claw machine. And that, if you want to give me Edge, I will totally potentially give you an extra Metal Link. Oh my god, I do. Alright, you can get one extra Metal Link for your yes. actual hitting of Edge. Oh my god, that is the best thing ever. You did, however, have to either stand on Suffer's back, be boosted up by Tommy or, Fleet, or, Tommy or Buzzard to be able to see into it to play the machine. Um. Yeah, Tommy Knocker. Sorry, you're you're the odd man out this time. You get to be the footstool. I'm the footstool. Marker. Well, how else is Flea gonna play the ice machine? Yeah. The ice machine. The claw, claw machine. machine. I mean, that's, that's, he's drunk enough. He probably played the ice machine too when he was alive. Well, he kept on the <laughs> I don't. I, you know, it, no, if you're gonna do that, it's, I don't need the footstool. I can just pick you up. I'm like. <laughs> Okay. That'll work too. Um, Flea will remark drunkenly later that he should probably get you a harness so you can just carry him or you can carry him around on your back at all times. I believe they are called a papoose. I might uh, be wrong there. Yes, they would be. Um, Suffer Darkblade Bone Raven would do it, but she's a body one orc and it's not quite working. No. Poor girl. I know. So what is the uh, the plan now that you guys have phones and are um, well, well, Buzzard has a plan in his mind. Uh, Buzzard has a plan in his mind. Um, I believe Buzzard's plan was melting faces, if memory serves. So, no, yes. Buzzard's plan is to try and talk their way in. If they get any guff, then faces will melt. Buzzard and Tommy Knocker yes. have full edge, correct? That is correct. Okay. You do also still have two days before, like, so Friday was the date of like the the manager at the little place bringing the information to the. Uh, the warehouse to to begin the production. Mm -hmm. So you do still have like two days to uh, to do things. So if we try to get me in there as a secure or as a drone operator, I have a taser on me if things go sideways. If we want to up the game a little bit, I've got a couple of drones who have sticky shocks and flashbangs. And if we want to go really crazy, I've got a steel links. Uh, loaded up with APDS. Oh I don't God. think we want to do that one. Can we spot well a chair to that and I have my bubble thrown? <laughs> I mean, probably. <gasps> it's, it's big. I have a fantastic idea, gentlemen. But no, later. Uh -oh. later. Um, no, that, that's uh, I also have a bunch of APDS and regular frags for my drones, but I, I don't think we need to take it to that uh, level for these no, guys. No, no, no killing, killing, you're killing. Ju you're just trying to get a record made. It's it's a kill, killing record. removes fans, <laughs> potential fans, and that's my friends, is bad. No, what we shall yes. do is, if we have to shoot anybody, we will use those um, those 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 tickler bullets, the ones that um, you you put uh, twenty five million into the slot in the hotel and the bed shakes. 
The magic fingers, yes, that's what it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I got two uh, hover drones that are already loaded up with those in the back of my van. Okay. Oh, that van has all the toys. I should buy a second one. So, do we want uh, it's to... It's also got a medical suite in the back. <gasps> that means drugs. <sighs> drugs. Painkillers. So, do we want to go to the place where the host just crashed and everybody's freaking out, or do we want to go to the warehouse where everybody's not freaking out? Where is the place where we can upload our own songs? Flea will hold up a chip. says, we can go to the warehouse and start the manufacturing right now. I like that idea. Wait, my money's in escrow. We gotta do the job, though. We are absolutely doing the job. So what okay. we shall do, what we shall do, is we shall insert your chip that has all the terrible music on it, and it will copy it over. And then we will insert my chip once your escrow is cleared, and everybody will have it be happy. All right, sounds good to me. So we're going to go ahead and go to the manufactorium um, about the time shift change happens. Because, well, right now it's it's late afternoon, correct? Uh, I believe it was about 4 o'clock, so it's probably about 4.35 or so now when... Uh... Right, and from what I remember about warehouses, most of them start moving over to the swing slash night shift around four thirty. There was no, um, there was no night shift at the thing. There was just the night guard that was there. Okay, that's even better. So we are going to. Um, I guess we can't take the conveyance for this one, can we? Because it's a little too public. Um, so, I've got the GNC step van. So we'll take uh, Strafe's GNC step van. Or we can go to van. Big Bob's and just get like a burner van. Um, also tempting. I don't know Big Bob, but he sounds like a wonderful gentleman. If we need to rent a van, we can. If not, then I shall simply pull up to the guard shack, and I will harangue him until he gives me what he wants, as I want to do, and we shall accomplish our goal. Yeah, let's just take my van and I'll park like a block away. Okay. So your your plan is to walk through the front gate at the uh, excellent more drugs preparing yourself. Hey, what do I roll to resist my Nova Coke edition? Oh. Paul, help me out. It's for Nova Coke? Yeah. Uh, body plus willpower plus five. Okay. You should be German and make up a spreadsheet. Hey, hey. I already did a spreadsheet for the other thing. I'm gonna. I'm on a week cooldown. <laughs> I, I don't do spreadsheets. I just do notes where it's, like, really, really terse. And Nova Coke's addiction rating is two, correct? Yep. Okay, I'm fine. I am totally taking a hit of Nova Coke, and we are going to do this. We're walking in the front door. At shift. You're walking in the front door today, two days before. My plan is to harangue the people in the warehouse to start the thing two days early because they've had a massive crash and it's going to take them two days to get back up and oh god, all the data was almost lost but we need to get this moving now and I'm going to be busy. Sign the manager. XOXO. <laughs> I, I believe the technical term on the runner hub is called face hammering. I'm going to face hammer the shit out of this. And I've got two hammers behind me and a rigger, so if the face hammering <laughs> fails, the real hammering begins. <laughs> Which reminds me, I need to buy a hammer later because I have a great idea. Oh no, I'm pretty sure you don't have a great idea. You just have a idea, and it's it's pretty awesome. Okay. It's glorious because it's flea, yes. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, walking down the street in slow motion because they're on all of the drugs. Oh my god! Uh, is a gnome, a orc. A human? And a troll. Uh, this, would, this would be a joke if, if we were walking into a bar. Exactly. Uh, I also want to point out that... Uh, man, Strafe. These trogs that you've been hanging out with. Not so bad. Uh, Just, you know, that, that prejudice you got there, sir. 
Oh no, totally. They're just not so bad. They're a little they're metal not, for you, maybe. They're not bad for trugs. I mean, they're violent, but that's their nature. They can't <clears> help it. Exactly. It's a chemical imbalance. So, you guys park a uh, a block or two away and stroll down the street. There is a. Uh, are you wearing your your admiral tee, sir? Uh, yes, I totally am. <laughs> <laughs> and I imagine everybody else is dressed up in the metal. Yes. Uh, Strafe, are you just wearing your nice clothes, or are you wearing... Oh, no, I'm wearing my jeans, my work boots, and my armor jacket. The suit's just for meetings. Excellent. So you're you're looking like a, a Joe Wage slave following behind. Team, what am I watching? Yeah. So, uh... I keep forgetting to buy a hat. <laughs> As you approach <laughs> the, the booth, the guard looks up from his arrow that he is looking at, probably a newspaper, and just kind of stares blankly at what is that? So, Flea is going to assume he is staring at Tommyknocker and Buzzard, because he does not reach the window. In fact, he could walk through this, he could probably squeeze between the bars of this gate without a problem. And he is going to, um, like, slap his hands at the bottom of the window of the guard shack and kind of wave and make him come down to, to look at him. Uh, you, the, you see the top of a man's head, and then it slowly grows larger as it grows into the full man's head. The look of absolute confusion is upon his face, and he looks from you to your compatriots, and then back to you because you are apparently the loud one <laughs> does that thing where he pushes his hat up like the guys are not going to believe this no they totally aren't so uh, Flea is going to give him his winningness smile and let the tailored pheromones take effect and say good evening good sir my name is Jeffrey K. Carter I am with RKO Media I believe that we had a appointment um, two days hence regarding a certain ship and a manufacturing regarding uh, now that's what I call synthesis or something of the matter I really didn't pay a lot of attention anyway the problem here is that we've had a massive server crash at work everybody is freaking out and I am taking it upon myself to get our ship into your manufacturing two days early I figure you're not very busy don't worry we're not going to take very long at all and we're going to take care of this get it started get it loaded get it out get out of your hair what do you say and I'll roll my fast talk. Please do. <laughs> As I scroll down to the important tables thing to see what kind of things I can do for him. I really need to take a second specialty into Colin for um, Bavarian Fire Drill. Sure. <laughs> Uh, you have plausible or seeming evidence. That is that is true. He has uh, he is distracted because what is he looking at? Um. Yeah. So let's just let's just do a nice little. So he's gonna uh, give you a blank look, not like the AR blank look, but the. I don't really believe what I'm seeing here. And then we'll, we'll finally speak with a so you're, you're here to record uh, I'm going to have to call this in. Oh no, you won't have to worry about that. I'm sure that our stuff is already on the way. Like I said, our host has crashed. It is terrible. There is some sort of dangerous hacker afoot. I don't know. KE has been called. Everything is terrible. That's why they sent me down in person instead of just calling this in. So don't worry about it. We will call them in the morning. And once that is done, you'll have all the information I need. I apologize that I don't have everything for you that you need right now. It is, like I said, the host is down. This is terrible, terrible, terrible. I just need to get this done. I don't even know what I'm going to do. So he's going to give you the, the uh-huh. Hey, we'll they turn. even called me in, man. I'm on the system. I'm Lamont Flowers. I run the drones in there. Just let me in there, man. So he will, upon hearing your uh, 
your thing, he will go into AR to check something. And he's like, no. Ah. Yes, Lamont, go, go right ahead. Thanks, man, come on. And as the man turns to to mess with something, he is clearly not paying attention to you. The gate opens for Mr. Flowers walking in. Um, do you guys want to go through the gate, or do you wish to face hammer him one more time? Um, Flea is going to say yes, thank you very much. Like I said, it'll be out of your hair in a second. And um, by the way, there is somebody double parked down the street. It is very terrible. You should take a look at that, and he's just going to walk right in. Do the and buzzard will follow suit. <laughs> so you guys uh, walk past a very confused security guard through the uh, well confused, confused poor man who is attempting to call and contact a host that is not working. Um, you come so. up to the, you come up to the front door. It is closed because nobody leaves those open. Uh, do you ring the proverbial bell, or do you just... First, I should uh, ask yeah, Strafe, I'll... because he is a... Yeah, uh... gonna... I'm going to play here. Yeah, so you are you just well, going right in, or are you ringing the doorbell? Uh, I mean, is it locked? I'll check it. Try to open it. If it's locked, then I'll ring the doorbell. Well, so, you'll... so you will come up to it. It will do a quick little red light that goes green, because it will scan your sin real quick that you have for matching up to your Lamont M flowers uh, it will go green and the door will do the loud thunk thunk um, to unlock for you so you may you may pass inside and does the rest of the team wish to just push forward or are you going to attempt to harangue some poor other schlub Oh god, no, the second that door opens, Flea is going to attempt to hold it open, and as it's closing, he's getting pushed inside, and he's just like, Buzzard, Tommy, it is beyond my powers. I can't just talk at it. <laughs> Do Buzzard something! Will a, Buzzard will put a hand on the gate and try to open it. <laughs> uh, likewise, I might use stronger. And, and the second they start touching the door, Flea's going to be like, Great, I'll leave it in your capable hands, and he's just charging straight in. Uh, if you guys need me to, I could probably rig something up to leave the door open. It might not be in the best shape afterwards, but... Keep in mind, right. there are still employees here. Yeah. So, you, yeah. like, going and... I'm gonna just take this door apart here, don't mind me, guys. This might be a little... little cause yeah, for I, suspect. I work here. Don't worry about it. Yeah, nothing to worry about. See, look, Lamont, that's my name. Lamont. No, 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 Mr. Lamont um, Flowers, uh, Esquire the Third. Um, we do not need to take this door apart. This door has worked perfectly. It has let us in, which is what it's supposed to do. And if we need to go out, we will go out when all the chips are made and everything will be fine and fantastic and dandy, dare I say. All right. His eyes are wide as saucers because he is on the coke and he is doing great. <laughs> So, Strafe, are you hanging out with them, or are you going off upon your own? Uh, I guess I'm headed up to the drone control room. Alright. Let me just, uh, grab a... I think it's this one? Try to make this a little... Oh, that's the wrong way. Uh, out of character, we set up a DNI before we went in here, right? On your fresh new phones, of course. Uh, okay. I'm not touching this with my fresh new phone, but I have a fresh new Metalink. I'll put, totally put it on a DNI. Yeah, I've got a Metalink for that as well. Alright, I'll throw in a Metalink on mine too then. Excellent. Chatter under special. <laughs> uh, so, over the DNI, I guess I'm just going to go and try to get this chip installed and while well, you guys draw attention, maybe? Uh, yes, um, find your thing, install the chip, once you've installed the chip, let us know, and then we will install the second chip once the first chip comes out. Alright, if anyone stops me, I can try to talk my way out of it, but I'm not as good with words as you are, I might have to taser somebody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry, I'll take care of that. And, and Flea right. is, is going to, um, uh, let's look at this thing here, um, he is going to start making a scene. 
on um, between order picking and trap stores, wherever the uh, highest congregation of people is. And he is going to do as he does best and throw a tantrum. And he is going to be um, demanding to see his supervisor. Everything is horrible. Everything is terrible. We need to get this shit moving now and not in two days. The host is down. We have to get this done because all the data is corrupted. Everything is terrible. We must get this working. Why aren't you people moving? So throw uh, throw your appropriate dice. Okay. Would that be considered a fast talk again? Um, I kind of feel like it's a leadership to get people moving, but we'll start with a con into a fast talk. Okay. I mean, I'll, that I will go either way. Yeah. That is the con fast talk. Okay. So you began to spout all kinds of corporate buzzwords that you have totally read are good for using in marketing? Um, I, I happened to read Rolling Stone uh, two days ago, and I think I remember maybe about 10% of the words. <laughs> it's not so much that you remember it, it's that you have the visual recordings from your eyes that oh, you can, right. um, I'm, you can I'm, recall. Yes, and so I'm, I'm recalling those words, and I, I do say something about Orkzan having uh, amazing tits, um, but that is neither here nor there. Yes, the uh, what's we call? It? Eventually, the people will will pay a little bit of attention to you. They first start looking at Buzzard because he is large, and then there is a fuss being made, and clearly the large man is where the fuss is coming from. Uh, but then, after a moment of seeing him not moving to the ridiculous loudness that's being produced, uh, they will eventually find their eyes to you. Excellent. And the second the eyes are on me, I'm going to start pointing at people and direct them to do things. You get the line moving. You direct me to the chip machine so I can install my chip and we can get this music copied. You get the boxes ready. You fire up the palletizer and set it up for, for uh, data the, chips the, and not for The palletizer? The palletizer. You do not know what a palletizer is, sir? No. Uh, Strafe, if you want to roll me some sneaking to just kind of... <laughs> disappear into the crowd? Yeah, I mean, I can. Sure, why not? Let's see what happens. Okay, what's the worst that could happen, right? Or etiquette. I will give you the choice of if you want to try and be incognito or ninja. I just got etiquette. Let's use that one. Okay. <coughs> oh boy. Okay, yeah, let's do it. It'll be a way lower threshold, given as there is a temper tantrum being thrown. You're welcome, by the way. Uh, you know <laughs> what? I'm going to I'm gonna edge it anyway, because I have, like, four dice. Yeah, that'll work, too. Well... Yeah, there we go. Damn! You uh, are... That six explodes, so uh, go ahead and roll another six. Go ahead and roll Oh, yeah. Six. So if you put a uh, exclamation point after the six, when you roll, it'll automatically explode them and, like, re-roll them for you. Right. It, it will totally bayfield those sixes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's the thing now. Damn. So with uh, four also, hits... said the Wall Street Journal has a really nice business buzzword generator that I use for one of my other games. Oh, Excellent. Oh, oh shit. I'm going to have to go... Oh, shit. I'm going to have that. to use that. <laughs> Oh, God, we have spawned so many bad there. things now. I hear the excitement exploding all of a sudden. Oh, yes. Just kind of add this to here, my bookmarks. Uh, yes, that is that is going that, in the bookmarks. But that it's right... It's super useful. The boss gathered the managers for an emergency meeting and said, Epic sustainability. Skate to where the puck is going to be. Next right? quarter, we will launch our new so corporate good. social responsibility killer, which will reimagine the learnings horizontally. Oh, God. <laughs> he didn't say anything. <laughs> Looking forward to time horizontally. YOLO. <laughs> YOLO. Looking forward to 2014. <laughs> Low hanging fruit will be our ability to unpack the playing field organically. God. This is the we best thing ever. We need, we need to stop right this. now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, sir, for that 
incredibly useful contribution. No problem, man. I was running the Eclipse Phase game a while back, and I needed someone to, like, just totally spew bullshit, and this is just great. Oh, that is glorious. So, you are effectively a wage slave. So, uh, that's good. These people are kind of ignoring you because there's a temper tantrum being thrown, and it's not by their manager firing somebody. So this is new and exciting to them. <laughs> oh, oh, don't worry. We'll chase that in a minute. So where are you heading off to, Strafe, with your... Uh... So I see there's two offices. Uh, I'm assuming that the drone center is in one of them. they got to have a spider in here somewhere. Um, I guess left to live? Let's go left. Left to live it is. So you kind of knock upon the door. Um... Get, just roll edge real quick. Let's see if there's anybody in there. Yeah, all right. And uh, you feel faster, by the way. You are you are pulsing with adrenaline. It is the best. Uh. All right. So with one hit. You open the door and you can see that there is a guy in there and he is doing some kind of menial tasks. Um, he seems to be at a computer terminal. He is not jacked in, but it is kind of just doing stuff. Hey man, you gotta check this out. Somebody's freaking out in the loading bay. Um, I want something from Flea here. Please roll me leadership real quick. Oh yes, I will totally roll you leadership. Oh god. <laughs> so it just so happens that as you begin to tell him about the freaking out, he's like, wait, what? Is when Flea's short voice reaches a loud crescendo of some kind of deeply derogatory things about the way things are being handled. And he's like, hold on, what? And he begins to get up and go over to the door to, like, check things out. Because weird shit is happening in there. Yeah, man, you gotta get out there. And he's, you know, he's hanging out by the door just kind of watching. Uh, all right. I'll look around and see if I recognize any of you, like, rigging equipment, or just, like, directly jacking any computer around here. You can, uh, you can roll perception, sir. All right. And if you guys out in the, uh, the lobby area want to roll perception as well, see what we can, uh, see what we can and see there. Now that I'm not astrally proceeding by force, please... I can absolutely do that. Thank you. <laughs> oh, God. That's it's visual be... perception, right? It can be whatever fish up. If you want to go around and lick things and try to get a taste of the area, you can totally do that. I'm going to go ahead with visual. Okay. I didn't realize I got plus one to my perception from Novico. This is the best day ever. Yes, I got ten successes. Oh, mm. my Christ. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I saw there was an exclamation point in there, so I know that you get to keep all of those. Oh yes, I do. Um, <laughs> uh, what would you like to see, sir? All what of would, the things. things. What would yes. you like to know? Yes. There, there is a lady there who is a who is a wage slave. She is an elf. She looks to be about three months pregnant. Um, <laughs> well, we can speed that along. Give me give me twenty minutes on a com code. <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. Uh, the fleas in the zone, that is totally how it works now. He's got leadership skills. <laughs> you can see out of the lounge there is a man coming who is wearing a who is wearing a nice suit. He looks to be about thirty seven years old with slightly graying hair. You can tell was that just a, a base perception, right? Yeah, that's uh, yeah, perception. visual perks. I forgot to take the edge part off the visual perception. It didn't edge it at all. I just deleted my last uh, thing. So it's just visual perception, not edge visual perception. Okay. okay. Cool. Um, you can see that he has a small piece of toilet paper on his foot. He is wearing a pocket protector. He has two comlinks in his pocket. Um, I'm trying to think what other insane things you would get with ten 
things. Um, <clears throat> everything pertinent, followed by everything not quite as pertinent, followed by everything that is not useful but interesting, followed by uh, the, the, the color of the ground and the, the, the time of the day. It's like 4.39. Okay. Wait. Um, there seems to be 17 workers here. Okay. There are three forklifts that are currently idling, as there is not large pallets to be moved. The two trucks on the map are not actually there because, well, there's nothing to be moved yet. The 11 of the 17 people are paying significant attention to what is going on. The other six are just kind of like, yeah, okay, whatever. They actually went back to their, their jobs. Maybe they have been reprimanded once or twice for lollygagging, but now they are sufficient to to get back to work. You see the guy that is over by the office that Strafe went into. He is well, picking his nose and just kind of watching. He has a, uh, a like two day beard. Um, He's our weak spot. We focus on him. <laughs> there's like a crane system that's across the ceiling. Not like a crane, but like a, just a chain and pulley thing. I think the most important part of this is, do we see where the machine is to insert the chip to do the thing? So you can see the equipment for the actual production. Um, it does not look like it is inserted here. It probably goes into an actual pretty computer, and then from there is transmitted to this computer to just produce, 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 produce. Uh, if you had some hands-on time with it and the know-how, you could probably stick your chip straight into this computer. But it most likely calls back to, like, the boss. Okay. Um, Strafe, inside you do see a bunch of computer equipment that looks fairly official. Um, do you want to do anything with it, or are you just kind of... Uh, do that even look like the machine I'm supposed to set this thing up on, or is this just, like, the kind of lower-tier offices? Do you have any musical-related knowledge, sir? No, none whatsoever. I know a lot about engineering. That helps. So if you... Do you have eyes or some kind of recording thing, Uh Yeah, I've got... I don't have cyber eyes, but I have uh, visors that I use. Yeah, you're uh, effectively ignored for being in here. Um, seeing how there's such a ruckus. But you can slap those on real quick as though you are going to work and send everybody the... Uh, the feeds of the equipment in there, you see? Yeah. Uh, if Tommy and or Buzzard want to roll some kind of musical related thing to identify said equipment. Sure. Since Probably know how, mo how to take most of this shit apart. I don't know what it does. So Damn you, Buzz Tommy. Buster begins talking about how he thinks it's a something, 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 and Tommy's like, no, idiot, it's a... Um, he would, too. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is it, are they, like the mixing boards and something along those lines that you use for sound editing? Sure. So that's it recording stuff, right? Yes. Okay. It is indeed the recording stuff. You can, if you wish, either plug into it or just slot your chip and hope that whatever Flea did to this is is in the go. Yeah, let's just slot the chip in there. See what happens. All right. Nice and easy. Sweet talk at first. Oh, baby. <laughs> oh, baby. Flea, if you want to raise some fuss with the manager, as he is now clearly in front of you and is... Uh, Excellent. Um, Confused. Flea will point at the man in the nice suit and says, look, my boss has gathered the managers for an emergency meeting and said it is proven that boots on the ground are going to increase corporate synergy and we have to skate to where the puck is going to be. God damn it, you're using those powers for evil. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the maniacal laughter answers your question for you. Yes, I totally am. Um... And he's, he's going to continue on, and he's going to re-explain. Like, 
the host is down, the data is corrupted, I have a physical ship here, we are going to insert it, the work is going to be done, we are going to get this done now, we are going to get these crates onto the pallets, the pallets onto the trucks, the trucks into the stores, and the stores into the hands of people who have no idea what good music is, but they are about to. So, um, if you want to roll him some con, and I will okay. figure out what is his bonuses might be. Promote synergy. Uh, I feel like he's at like a 14 or so because if shit goes wrong, he is... This is disastrous sure. for him. His, his ass is on the line. I understand. Go ahead and spend two of my edge to reroll. Oh, thank you, sir. I need to raise that stat, so that would be eight. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, God. Holy shit. Oh. Fuck. Well, there goes that then. Oh, well. Yeah, um, I don't have words for that there. That's, those are some things. Wait a minute, what is his limit? Yes, uh, what is his limit? I don't know. Let me click open the, the Hero Labs for it to do math for me. And I will... Uh, what's Flea's <laughs> limit? Um, because he's coked out, it is 13. It's significantly higher. Good news, in your 10 successes, it did not look like this guy was doing drugs. <laughs> uh, I'll change that after we're done. Yeah, as soon as he uh, finds out that his ass is on the line for sending metal into the hearts and homes of everyone. I have no idea what you're talking about, sir. We, we, uh, we, this is now what we call synthesis. <laughs> so, uh, it looks like his social limit would probably only be about six or seven. Um, good call on that. If it wasn't four hours and twenty minutes in, I would totally consider spending my last point of GM edge to fuck you in this situation, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> Mostly because I got another run in eight hours. <laughs> so you have the most epic word battle that you have ever had with someone? I have no idea um, what he's saying. I have no idea what I'm saying, but you know what? I have a recording of what I read in Rolling Stone. This is true. You've probably looped through it once or twice. Uh, yeah. Uh, Buzzard and Tommy, are you doing anything while this verbal battle is going on? I am trying to figure out what exactly it is Flea is saying until about halfway through, and I'm like, oh, he's doing that thing where he talks in words. And I cross my arms. Yeah, likewise. That's pretty and look imposing. Yeah. Do you do the oh. Charlie's Angels back to back thing? No. Oh, okay. Sorry. That's, that's, that's like soft rock. Is somebody recorded this? Because this would probably be a pretty good like background oh. track for a song. Oh, yes. We're totally recording this. Cyber eyes, cyber ears, cyber nose. I can smell the fear on this man. You do indeed smell a little bit of fear on this man. And he will, at a point that you have verbally browbeat this poor man to, to submission, um, most of the other workers have gone back to whatever it is they're doing because now it's just a screaming match and a, well... A shorter screaming match. So, are you just continuing to cause a distraction, or are you going to attempt to get him to to in, to do the thing that you want him to do instead of just um, distractioning him? If if Strafe is not doing the thing that we want him to do, then I will have the boss do what we want him to do. So Strafe has inserted the chip, whatever chip that he had, into the thing, and it seems to be doing a thing. Uh -huh. Yeah, over the DNI, we're good to go. I'm done over here. Okay. A question that I will need to know is, what was on said chip? Was bad music still on it? Was it just Crucible? Was that Crucible and bad music? So, um, ultimately what will happen is it will be, um, th there will be the bad music on there, and it will it will start out with that, and then it will be interspersed with Crucible's Beach Battle of the Band Bros. The cover, uh, or the, the cover icon of this album, will be of uh, Banjo um, swimming in groupies, and it will be specifically his Minotaur ass with the two brands on it, and that will be the cover of Now That's What I Call Synthesis. 
number 147 or 169 or whatever the crap we're on now. Simpsons or Simpsons? I am. Simpsons. Whatever, whatever highly marketed garbage that they produce here is. Also, we're delete replacing, aren't we? Yeah. Well, why didn't we just name the CD whatever highly marketed garbage they're they're shoveling out of here? Because when they see that it's now that's what I call music, whatever, they'll be like, oh yeah, somebody totally did go along, and it's going to take them longer to figure out that no, no, it's not. <laughs> All right. So you have browbeat this poor man and he will uh, come with you to his office uh, he has managed to not check the with home base as it were mm-hmm. because your uses of bug, buzzwords has convinced him that this would be good for his career yes it will be the best thing for his career and uh, he will take you in there and he will ask you if you are ready to make magic together and give you the option to push the button. Um, Flea is going to look left, look right, look left again, and then as he's looking right again, he's going to just, like, mash at the button and hit, like, five of them. <laughs> and, and if by chance he is missed, he will then look at it and mash the button. Okay. So you do indeed miss with your, your mashing. It does the, uh, the Windows sticky keys thing pops up. Because they have not gotten rid of that devil of the option. Oh, son of a bitch. But, you know, so a, a quick closing of that will allow you to hit the button proper. Yay! And out, out in the the warehouse area, you will begin to see machines and such spring to life. And I'm pretty sure that uh, Tommy and Buzzard smile a little bit as they're uh, a contented nod is what comes. Right. And and uh, the hard look, the hard stare. Flea will storm out of the office and find the nearest convenient box that will hold his weight, and then he will lift his hands in the air in victory and said they thought it was mad. Mad, but I've shown them this day. I have shown them they will rule the day. They will rue it. Uh if I see that happening, I'm gonna take that opportunity to leave. <laughs> Good man. Good you man. Will, are you leaving leaving or are you just going out of the office office? Uh like I'm leaving leaving. We're done here as far as far as I know, right? I'm taking the chip and getting the hell out of here. Oh yeah. Okay. No, we're totally done. Yeah. We are GTFOing. Yeah. Nope. <clears throat> so after that Flea will will throw some more corporate buzzwords that make absolutely no sense and then they will GTFO. You will perhaps say Looking forward to 2014, value add will be the key to our ability to streamline the big data horizontally. Uh, now I will say something along the lines of uh, this sector having robust IP, and uh, once again, we will skate where the fuck is going to be. <coughs> YOLO. <laughs> <laughs> and that will be his last word he's out the door. Just wave and be like, YOLO. <laughs> so you guys exit the building. Uh, walk past the confused security guard who is like, how did you... What? Um, you guys re- return to the not kit, not as good as the conveyance and drive off into the the sunset. Uh, <laughs> into the midsummer afternoon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> to get into a midsummer's afternoon haze of drugs, I'm sure. Yes. Because that's as you do. So great. So the the good news is that I imagine you then call up your musical person. Mm-hmm. Um, secondary good news is he will release your escrow strafe, so you get yeah. paid. He will arrange for Flea to get a cred stick to be divided out and make mention of the fact that it would be good for them to be paid for a lesson. The it would music like. world will report a horrendous screw up because they shipped out a vastly unfinished product ahead of schedule. Um, the the pseudo good news is Crucible will gain two public awareness. Yes, uh-huh. because a whole bunch of people, well, for some reason, people buy these CDs and people are like. 
fuck is this? And there's a small subsect of people out there uh, who may or may not be looking into who is Crucible. We are now at five public awareness as Crucible. Yes. Hell yes. Um, I will let you decide what you're doing with the monies. Uh, I feel like six. So, um, the credit stick has 12,000 times four on it, correct? For 48,000, and there was supposed to be saxophone lessons? Yeah, it's some, uh, what should we call it? It is up to you on how much you think his saxophone lessons are. Okay. Um, so that is... And I guess we'll go with, I guess, five karma? Just because... Okay. So, wait, wait, wait. What do you, what do you mean by 45,000? Uh, I missed hit the button. Oh, okay. That's supposed to be an eight. That's supposed to be an eight. Okay. Um, he has just said that someone can take his money. Okay, so Flea will totally forget the number he was supposed to call, and he'd be like, hey, looks look, look like we've got a bonus, guys. And, uh... That 40, I imagine 000. you will... You will pay for the trans avalons out of the extra money that you had to replace. Yes, we'll pay for the we will pay for the trans avalons out of that, and um, we will buy a separate dark blood blown raven, some like decent food, so she can survive being in the van of the week. And if she misbehaves with the uh, shop collar again, she's going to have to eat spider webs. Uh, so just to clarify, the uh, so band's playing for my avalon. Yes. Cool. And the band is paying for Buzzard's Avalon. And if Tommy Knocker wants an Avalon, you can have one too. Shit, yeah, I'll take it. So that would be 15,000. And uh, that leaves us with 33, which is 11, 11, 11. Sounds about right. Um. And the internal entry, so and the five karmas. Do, do we get any street cred, notoriety, public awareness by uh, quote unquote cru runner? Crucible got two public awareness for people being forcibly exposed to their music. And the other one for uh, the news that will break about how the only people that were on this production were random guy who sucks and you guys so by default you get that advertisement okay um yeah so thanks for coming out I think I feel like we went some weird places there not nearly as crazy as the last one but uh yes no, no edge was burned in this production which is unfortunate I do enjoy the the as, warming of the house. As do we. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, I will say goodbye to stream. I will. Okay. I uh, will go ahead and shut the stream off as of now. Thank you very much, Switch Streamers. We appreciate your patronage and stop by Runner Hub for all of your crazy and not crazy shadowrunning needs.